<laughs> about, about, about. <laughs> and why does it? I remember now, it did that every time. Yeah, now it's got it. Of course it does. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> It's only been 12 months, but yes, welcome to the incompetent start once again. 18 minutes late, microphone's not set up, I've been frantically trying to get bin files edited right before we start. So we're doing about as well as normal. Yes. Right then, um, I think that we are live. Let's just load up train sim. Booby There's only one thing you're forgetting, Reese. What? Parsec. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Right, before we start, let's just quickly set. watch us have problems with that now. Let's, um... Accept. With a bit of luck, you're just... Yep, you're doing it. It should all work the same as the last time we connected, right? Right, let's just... Um, move. hopefully. Right, what do you think? Can you try moving them? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And I can hear, um... All I need to do now is... Hmm... I'm not gonna lie, that, uh, that, there we are. that new uh, sky effect from the AP oh. pack is uh, pretty... Doesn't it look good? That does look pretty nice. Anyway, let's get back to YouTube and hello and welcome everybody to the first virtual footplate run in more than 12 months. I'm the Angry Welshman. I'm joined tonight by Sam of Blast Pipe Productions. Good evening. And yeah, it's been quite a while since we did this, hasn't it? Um, um, frankly, I have forgotten what we're doing. Me too. I uh, And we've, we've chosen a pretty advanced loco to go and use as well. On, yep. On a pretty uh, long run, uh, Let's have, how many coaches do we have? Let's just let's do the coaches that, first. So that's a nice support coach. It is. I wonder who reskinned that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Okay, so I was actually using my brain when I made the scenario. Then we're on a that's ten coach, ten coach train. Sam wanted fourteen, but given our uh, incompetent start, I think it's probably for the best. The engine tonight, we are taking London and North Eastern Railway V2. Okay, something's happening with the keyboard here. Oh, or are you messing with it? <laughs> I'm trying to change the lamps. Oh, yeah. I've, I remember you had problems with the lamps before. It won't let me do control shift yeah. and the thing. Let me, let me do it. So we want the two there. There we are. Because we've and... got a headboard. Now, this has just been uh, added as a child object, so you can't actually change that in the game. That's what I spent the half an hour before the live stream frantically doing. What a nightmare that was to fit. <laughs> because it's an advanced loco, every time you added a child object, it broke the script in some way. So it was just a case of uh, finding, of finding the right place to, uh, to add it. I haven't, I've realised I haven't actually added any um, water stops on the way. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. If it comes to it, we'll go in the world editor and we'll um, plop a water tanker down. I'm thinking Taunton, possibly Exeter for water stops, maybe Newton Abbott, but I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see how we get on. We are going to cheat a little bit with, with water, and it's basically because I just ran out of time before the live stream. Uh, so, let's climb in the cab. Hang on a minute, Reese. We lost the lamp. Oh, have we? No, ah, don't exit. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, wait. Ah! <laughs> oh, the fun of using ah. Parsec. Ah. The fun of using Parsec, I remember it now. Now we've added all the lamps. No, we've not added the top one. We need to get, um, we need the middle one to be a high-vis lamp if we've got it. I don't know if she has one. No, it doesn't. Right. 
scratch that one. Right, let's climb in the cab anyway. So, if I remember rightly, we've got to put her all the way in reverse. Because for some reason the V2 is this weird one where the reverse is forward and the forward is reverse. Uh, um, let's have a look. I don't actually check what time we're due out. Um, probably should have checked that, being the driver. <laughs> Are you driving or am I driving? I don't mind driving. Um, go on, we'll let you drive and then when you get in the shit, I'll take over. Well, I mean, to be honest, going all the way down from from Bristol to Western Supermere is pretty much flat. Oh, um, something I did read in the manual. Yeah. You've got to fire through the firing flap, not the fire door. So okay. If, if I just uh, show you what I mean. There's the fire flap, and then the actual fire door is this whole thing. Right. And if you open... Uh, try not to open that. If you open that, your steam generation just falls through the floor. Well, if I press F and shift F, it opens up the flap anywhere. I don't know what's going on with that. Um... It's do it. It's it's being weird. <laughs> so if I press F and R, I'm not really sure why it's doing that. But try shoveling some coal a minute. Yeah, it's shoveling. That's fine. Does it keep shoveling, or does it automatically cut um, off? That's a good question. It looks like it's going to keep shoveling, which is good. Um, in fact, we can afford to bit. Well, we can afford to put a bit of coal on. Yeah, just whack a bit of rock on. I had a look for the um, ideal fire mass before setting off, and that's the entirety of my research. Yeah. Other question is injectors. If I can give Lem a test run, so we should have. Yeah, the, the our injectors are. You've got to open the water on the tender, and then there's trimmers under the fireman's chair. So what have you opened there? It doesn't matter, because the water level is going up. What was that, the live or the exhaust? Um, that was Eleanor. That's live, then. Has the the tender water level has stopped going down, hasn't it? Yes. That's good, Len. It appears that there just toggles and there's no shift involved, which should be better for Parsec. Are you still shoveling? Um, hopefully. I don't know why it keeps making that funny noise. I think we just got a mess with it. That's weird. Well, I'm confident enough that I can fire this thing then. What about using the trimmer? Um, we'll worry about it if we need to. We'll only probably have to worry about the trimmer if um, the boiler pressure drops too much. Yeah. As long as we keep it up, it Boil should be alright. Boiler pressure is starting to go up like crazy. So yeah. Uh, let's whack them dampers open. Oh, they are. Come on, driver, get on with your job. Right. Um, in that case, I think we'll uh, get underway very soon. I didn't actually have enough time to set the scenario up properly, so we've got a rough idea of what we're doing. But you know, look, it's just us in a nutshell, isn't it? We've got a rough idea of what we're doing. Also, a friendly reminder, Reese. Um, whenever we have the head out of the driver's side, I can't see any of the information I need to see. Well, what we'll have to do, I think, just um, like do. Can you see the see it now, looking down? Um, 
Yeah, but it's not great. How about if you look in? Yeah. I mean, easiest thing would be, um, if it'll work, just to do that. Oh, I remember that. We did that before. Yeah. But because of the darkness of the cab, you can see the text then. Yeah. Right, uh, after that very incompetent start, we are half an hour after starting time, so I think perhaps we better get underway, haven't we? I think so. so also, I've overfired it already. What's the ideal fire mass then? Um, about 820. Okay, so we, um, the coal is just like massively over then. It'd be right. It'd be right. Would help if I took the tender handbrake off. <laughs> it's alright, you didn't see that, you didn't see any of that. I'm warming the cylinders through anyway. Yeah, this is the engine that's famous for blowing up if you don't do something funny with the cylinder taps, right? Yeah. Well, they're open. But for some yeah. reason the loco brake is uh, a little bit on. No, the handbrake is off. Hang on a moment. Um, brake pipe pressure, 21 inches, that looks good. The handbrake's off as well. Just ignore it and go, I guess. I mean, we've got... Oh, we're moving. Sorry, I was sat there, I was blowing steam through the cylinders to warm them up. As the responsible driver goes. Here we go then, chaps. We're off. Apart from the massive drop of frames there, that does look quite good. So, where are we actually an going from? You've left an injector on, have you? I don't think so. I will explain that now as we get underway. Right, everybody watching the stream, can you hear, hear everything okay? Can you hear the game sounds? Can you hear us okay? Just let us know. Oh yeah, back to the gas. Hmm, that fire mass is still going up, Reed. It is, isn't it? Oh, it's all shut. Oh, there we go, it's dropping there. I think there's an injector still on. Hmm. That tender water level. Oh no, it's not. It's no, it is dropping. It's dropping. Have we got an automatic fireman on this? No, I turned. Well, I turned him off. Are you sure? Right. Control there. That's on. Yeah. That's off. Okay. So automatic fireman is definitely off. I didn't hear any AIS or AWS then. <laughs> oh, this could be fun. Um, apparently you're a bit quiet, Reese. Yeah, I've just seen that. Game sounds are quite loud. Let me just have a quick look in um, OBS. Let's see. Settings. Q 
just turn the game settings down a bit. Oh no, there was a setting on the desktop on there. Um, yeah, if you um, if you uh, do the volume mixer, open volume mixer, and then find train sim on there. Scroll on. Why am I saying this? I'm on your computer. I could just do this myself. There you are. You just turn train sim all the way up. That should do it. Sorry guys, right, back to trains. There we go. No, and I've lost the comments box. Come on. <laughs> Pressure is tanking, apparently. Oh god, I better wind her all the way forward then. Right, let's pop on that side, just until we get underway properly, I think. Yeah, you've, ma you've killed the fire. Well, I did stop firing it at like 900, but it apparently kept going up, but you were busy taking screenshots, so I couldn't watch it and check. <laughs> oh yeah, blame the driver. It'll be right, if you thrash it enough, we'll just get rid of the curl out the chimney. Yeah, let's open the reg all the way then. I mean, the steam generation rate is going up quite quickly now. Yep. Problem is, we're just we're actually running out of pressure before that uh, helps. Oh dear! We've killed our pressure. Let's ease off. <laughs> Lowers whacked up, and so if we take it easy, we should still be generating steam. Right, we're generating now. We'll just have to wait until we've burnt like 300 or so pounds off. And let us be a lesson to everyone don't overeat. Yeah, that's right. No, I can't whack her open yet. Let's see if we can get the injectors working. I don't think you'll have enough pressure for the um, for the wasicle one. So that one's going down, which is good. Is the water level in the boiler going up? It doesn't appear to be. Was that the live or the... Um... This is um, Eleanor. Yeah, live injector. Well, the steam generation rate is higher. Nah, we just we need to stop for a blow up, don't we? Nah, don't stop for a blow up. Keep going. If we stop for a blow up, it'll take ages to burn through what we've got. Yeah. Well, that water level is definitely not working. So if I so that needs to be held down. I'm yeah. just wondering, should we restart? Because we've kind of started on the back foot, really. That was a bit of a, a cock up with setting up, wasn't it? Right, so that's on. And that's on. And 
turn that off. And that is off. I can't hear the. Uh, apparently, the game audio is too quiet now. Oh, we're doing really well. We're doing about as well as could be expected. So that's the exhaust steam. Yeah, I think the boiler pressure is too low for that. Yeah, probably. Right, we're running on like pure tank pressure. Yeah, do you know what? Let's um, let's just restart. <laughs> because that that was with the coal. I don't know how that happened. But that was like while we were setting up, wasn't it? That'll have been Parsec. Yeah, that was messing around with Parsec. No, I mean, it'll have been, um, it'll have been confused with the D-boards. I'll have been trying to close it and you'll have been pressing something else and then it'll have not registered it. I know this is slightly cheating, but we're going to do it properly this time. Right, let's put some curl on. Oh god, not again. Right, just wait until I'm finished messing with the driving controls a minute, then I'll tell you when you... Oh, you've already done it. <laughs> right, handbrake on. I think I've got the Hanalee injectors now as well. Put the brake... Dampers open, blower on. Right, let's just... Um... Go on, have a fiddle with the injectors, but I'll keep, let's keep an eye on that coal level. Right, that's shut, so it shouldn't put any coal in, which it isn't. Okay, we're good. We're happy. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to try again. Sorry about that, everybody. Where's the ejector? Oh, it would help if we uh, open the ejector a little bit as well. Right, we got the right lamps, we got the right headboards, we're blowing off. Cylinder cocks are open. Let's go. I'm just going to yeah. increase the game audio very quickly. So that concludes our stream. Thank you for everyone coming to watch. Uh, we'll be back again next time. I've just turned up the game audio a little bit. Let's get going. We're 40 minutes down. 40, min soon, mate, like 40 minutes down and we've got a three and a half hour run. Oh, Lord. Because it's um, Bristol Temple Meads to Kingswear. And we've got to... We're going to have to rag it. Yeah. And we got to get 10 coaches over Wellington Bank unassisted. Should have gone for the co tank option. I know. <laughs> Incidentally, everybody, it was Sam's birthday. Was it yesterday? It was yesterday. So happy birthday to Sam. Who is now old. Sam is celebrating by cocking up driving the P2. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't give me any credit for the driving. We got 38 people watching now. And we've already restarted. Maybe the restarting is what's increased the viewership. Maybe. I thought we were ragging it, Reese. Yeah, we are. I just want to get... Hang on, why aren't we there? I get it. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. So there's a weird thing with this V2 that you have... To, when you're coasting, you have to be either below or above 25% reverser. Not sure forward now, early. Oh, that was a bumpy crossing. 
It does seem a bit bouncy. Right. I think we're doing better now. Steam generation well, is actually... Is yeah. Where it should be. Hooray, Chris has joined saying, have I crashed yet? <laughs> I mean, technically, no. Well, we made it past 20 miles an hour this time. Well, that's progress. We can call it a day now. Yeah, let's quit. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe for more muck-ups. Yeah, I remember now with this one is you really can't afford to overfire it. You can see if the fire mass has pretty much stayed 830-ish. Yeah. Hmm. That's um, an interesting graphical bug there. Eh. Train sim, what can you do? Well, that seems to have sorted itself out now. Oh, we're blowing off. Get that exhaust injector on. I'll try. <laughs> Well, see, we got to this station and we pretty much were just crawling to an a undignified stop. This time we've started and we're blowing off. What a difference that restart made. It was worth it, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. See, uh, I probably should explain to everybody watching is like normally before the live stream when we do this, we get um, just a little bit of time to have a bit of a practice. But this time we haven't. It's all been very last minute organisation. We so. normally have about five minutes or so stat with a, sat on the platform, like running through all the controls and making sure it all works. But because it was just running so late today, trying to get that headboard set up. Yeah. Need to be on can the driver's side. Can you check the um, injectors in the cab? Both of them should be on. They heat, They sound like it. How do you know? Um, not them. Down a bit. There you are. Yeah. Those, Those are both fully open. Anti-clockwise is look, on. Have a look at the back of the tender. That's working. Your water level's staying the same though. No, it's dropping. I think you need to mess with the trimmer though. I remember reading you gotta mess with the trimmer. Uh it could have been a hill. Nope, no, it is still dropping. The water level is definitely dropping, isn't it? Yeah. I have to let you fiddle with that trimmer east because I don't trust the mouse controls on my end, they're not subtle enough for it. Oh, I can hear a difference. There we are, that's got it. See, that's got it. If you move the trimmer that way, is that, yeah, water level's going up, look. Yeah. Yeah, you, this way I remember now in the manual, really do have to mess with the trimmers on this one. But we're generating steam. Right, we, we're getting the hang of it slowly. We're at 48 mile an hour. Water's going the right way. You might even need to chuck some rock on, uh, Sam. You shoveling? I'm trying to. Parsec has not got any better since the last time we played with it. Nope. Ah... Uh. Why is it doing that? I'm not really sure. That's weird. So for everybody watching, we're not just messing around with the fire door. There's some strange thing going on with it. I'm not really sure why it's doing that. I think oh, you ju yeah, you've just got to hold F until the lock goes on. See, now you're shoveling. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is the problem that we've got trying to do this train sim multiplayer thing. It is a hack. It's not. Uh, it's not canon for the game by any means. Oh, we're boilers nearly full. You might need to shut off one at least one of the injectors. One of them should be shut off. Are you? I'd leave the exhaust one on. The exhaust one should be on. So I've just turned the trimmer down. Leave the trimmer on and I'll shut it off on the steam valve, because if not we'll have to fiddle with trimmer every time. Yeah, okay. Right, that should be shut. Um, is there's water shut? Yeah. No. Is it not? Nope. Yeah. Okay, now it is. Right, um... And you need to stop shoveling again. Yeah, stop shoveling. <laughs> we can turn the blower off now, I think. Just have it cracked a bit. Well, we're doing 54 mile an hour. If I remember rightly, there is a turning coming up. Well, we got 15 miles, actually. Our first stop is Western Supermare. Western Super Mayor. Yeah, so, um, let's see. I didn't actually say to everybody what we're driving today. So we're driving number 4771 Green Arrow, and we're hauling the Torbay Express. We're going from Bristol Temple Meads to Western Super Mayor. Uh, after there, it's Taunton, Exeter St. David's. Um, after Exeter St. David's, we'll go along the Dawlish Seawall to Newton Abbott. After Newton Abbott, we hit... Oh, no, it's before, actually. Um, we're going to... After Taunton, we're going to hit the Wellington Bank. So we're going to get completely screwed by the Wellington Bank. Um, after that... Yeah, we go through Newton Abbott. Ah. And get our ears completely blown out by uh, the tunnel. We'd have soot in our eyes, really, if we were driving a real steam engine. I did say, or I did want to say to everybody, I was going to try and keep more of a an eye on the chat tonight. D again, done completely well with that one. Tommy Stafford says, well, I guess he did check the manual. Yes, I did actually have a very brief look at it. I decided not to. Sam is... Uh, Grossly negligent. Nah. Hey Sam. Yeah. We're at sixty mile an hour, mate. Is that it? I'm pretty sure that's all the V2 was allowed to go when it was on the main line. Yeah, but we're running late. We are. So let's crack that reg open. Power. Wait, you weren't in full reg already? No. Oh, Reese, come not, on. not that it's made much uh, difference, to be honest. <laughs> well, we're doing 61. Oh, Sam, Sam injector. Yeah. <laughs> we're close to blowing off as well. So we can afford to wind it forward a little bit. Since we got steam to spare and we can't inject, let's uh, let's get some speed. Uh, I think we're getting there with it. It only took 45 minutes and one restart, but we're getting there. Well, by the end of the stream, we'll know what we're doing. Yeah. If we haven't blown it up. If the engine hasn't been destroyed. Which... It's an L on the R engine, so it wouldn't really be a big loss if it was. Oh, I don't know. I quite like the uh, the V2, if I'm honest. Well, I prefer it over Scotsman. Well, let's be fair. I think everybody seems to prefer anything other than Scotsman. I don't know why everyone hates on Scotsman so much, to be honest. But there we go. It's not so much Scotsman itself that's the issue. Um, I mean, 
to be fair, everything famous about the engine is, like, bad. Um, and if you go, oh, well, it will have first to 100, it will have first officially to 100, and even then, that's, like, yeah. City of Trero did it first, there's the recordings to prove it, but it was a safety thing, which is why it wasn't publicised, so... If you take away that, everything famous about Flying Scotsman basically involves bankrupting people. Yeah, that's pretty normal. Um, I'm just you looking. You can't claim it's the only engine to go to America or the only one to go to Australia. Um, because Royal Scott and Duchess of Hamilton, when disguised as Coronation, have both been to America. Um, Pendennis Castle has been to Australia. Um, one of the schools, I can't remember which one, I think it might be Repton. Rep it was Repton, went to um, Canada. Went, that went to the state somewhere. I thought it was Canada. It could have been Canada. Oh, you need to inject. What are we on, 50? Uh, 6.62, but it's going down pretty quick. But we're up at uh, 72 mile an hour now, so we are... We're actually working it quite nicely on the flat. Apparently it's got a quillable whistle. I'm looking at the manual right now. Oh, Terry Bartlett's just made a good comment. Green Arrow only did 60 miles an hour when she didn't have TPWS, but then when they fitted it, she can do 75. So actually, that's okay. We aren't breaking the rules just yet. Yeah, you don't half boil her now on the water level. Uh, she's. I'm just looking at the manual. She does have a quillable whistle, apparently. Oh, yeah, you're shoveling. Yeah, I'm getting the hand of it now. I think what you got to do is you just got to like hold the F button until you hear it click, because it's that. Well. The fire, the flat what, was I've, gonna... um, what I've done is I've held down F and then pressed shift when I've got F held down and that seems to lock it. Yeah. Well, we're holding steady at about 73 and a half miles an hour. We are on the flat. Well, Let's... I want to try this. Heritage, if we go off heritage mainline speed, that would be 75. So actually we're doing about right. I want to try this quillable whistle. That just sounds a bit awful, really. <laughs> like, there, but it's fine. In all, in but then all it just fairness, goes, Bleh. In all fairness, don't forget, this is quite an old add-on now. It is. Even though it's an advanced logo, it's more than five years old, I believe. Right, what station was that? No chance of seeing that. Um... <laughs> You look straight at the sign as well. We've got to be careful because we're only seven miles from Western Super Mirror and there's like a 30 mile an hour speed limit to cross over onto it. So we yeah. are, we're going to have to slow down pretty soon, I think. Where are Reese, I need to stop sorry, shoveling. Sorry, just, yeah, look at that. I'd say that's about a mile or two ahead. So we're going to have to ease off now. Go on, you stop shoveling then. T-Bone says what A3 should have been preserved alongside Scotsman. He would have liked to have seen Scottish 3 and Humorist. Have you finished shoveling now? Um, I think so. Because I think I need to uh, start thinking about slowing down soon. What's that water level? Is that 88? 88, yeah. In that case... Tommy Stafford says I hope you drive more JT logos such as the 4MT and 5MT. Do you know what? I've bought the 4MT and 5MT, never once driven them. I don't even know if I have the 5MT, but the 4MT I've gotten driven before. Never, I've it never did. once driven it. And I don't know why, I just for, um, never got round to it. You could do your lighting up on shed and then you're like full day with it. Yeah. Um, Reese, it's all yours. Okay. We should have... We should be safe enough to get to Western Supermare. I was going to say, don't worry about like firing it too much for a little bit, because 
we're going to be easing right back soon. So I'm trying to use up a little bit of steam now before we have to ease off. Yeah. Because um, we're going to be slowing down and stopping for West and Super Mare. Right, we started off with about 4,200 gallons of water, I think. We're down to 3,707. <laughs> so that's going to go well. Yeah, I think we are going to need at least one water stop. Terry Bartlett says, I've driven Green Arrow and she's a nice engine to drive in train sim. That was Yatton. Oh, that he's, I think Terry might be delayed a little bit. He's watching a couple of minutes back. There we yeah, are. Yeah, we've I've, probably got a delay on the chat as well. Yeah. Tom Hample says, yes, welcome back, mate. So glad I caught a live stream again. Greetings from Upside Down Land. I guess he's in Australia land. There you are. There's the uh, yep. 1.4 mile ahead is World Junction. A wall junction. Interesting point, Reese. You are only forty subscribers away from ten thousand. I know. I was. I forgot to mention that earlier, actually. Right, we're losing steam, but that's okay because I'm about to ease. Her. Yeah, let's start easing back. So we need to be greater than twenty-five percent on the. Quick. No, wrong way. Quick. There. We, we, um, it needs to be greater than 25% when we're coasting, but I will leave the regs slightly open. Are we stopping at Supermare? Yes. Right, I'll sort the fire out then. I guess, how long have we got? Oh crap, half a mile. Okay, uh, totally didn't just emergency dump the brakes then. <laughs> There's no um, panic. Yes, I have done a cold start on the far MT. There's no panic in this driver's voice. No yeah, panic. So just, <laughs> just to point it out, ladies and gentlemen, if we have any issues now, it's entirely Reese's fault. I'm sat back drinking my tango, doing nothing. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh god. It's okay. 42 41. Like a professional. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait for the, um, the cylinder block has exploded. Yeah, that's message. coming any minute. I don't think it will actually stop the loco from running, but it will mess up your, your life. L look <laughs> at that. What? What? That was as though I perfectly timed that. I hit the points at exactly 40 miles an hour. Right, we're on the branch line that takes us out to Western now. I'd prefer to call it Supermare because that would be more accurate. Supermare. Yeah. Tommy Stafford says, "Have you ever done a cold start on the 4MT?" I did reply to that a few oh, seconds did you? ago. Yep. That was what you were talking about, was it? Yep. Terry Bartlett says, "Here's an idea for Reese. Why not drive the 5MT from Bristol to Paddington on the Bristolian?" Well, hopefully we will be able to because this route. Is the was it B B B H B P route, the latest version, and that's been extended quite significantly. So you can pretty much run the majority of the Great Western network now, um, all the way. F and the plan is to run from Paddington to Penzance. So there is, you know, quite a lot planned for this route. Hopefully. You know, in, in time, when they extend it to Paddington, we're going to do a run from Paddington all the way to Penzance, but that's going to be a six-hour I mean, live stream. We can do, like, with the um, Just Trains Western Main Line. At the minute, yeah, but this route is more advanced than that. Yeah. This route is being created by... Is it not backdated trains? So I can... Virtual District... No, I don't think that's right either. Someone... It's being created by somebody. Right, point eight. We're oh, it's... flat, aren't we? Yeah, we're completely flat. Oh, we're... boiler water level's quite low. That's why we're asking. Oh. We need to start slowing down to 25 now. Right, so I'm going to need to drive a little bit. Tommy Stafford says, use the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 40 again. 
you, on track simulation that's the one I, I was trying yeah that's the one it's on track simulation that made the route okay I'm trying to break nothing's happening there we go oh were you shoveling were you um, no, I'm trying to stop shoveling, but I am also trying to inject at the moment, and it doesn't seem to be doing so. Don't stress, you got point four, but we're coming to a stop. I'm just down to below line speed. I'm going to need to drive a little bit. <laughs> Tom said it's a shame he's not here as traction inspector. I think it's a really good thing we don't have a traction inspector at the moment. Well, for one thing, both me and Sam have been awake since about 5 o'clock this morning, so we're well over our illegal driving hours. So we Yeah, um, I'm reading this in BLS support thing over there. It's um, supposed to be no more than 12 hours, um, and then you've got to have a 9-hour rest. So, 12 hours would take us both to about 5 o'clock-ish. Um, it's now like nine o'clock, so we're about four hours overdue. Um, if this is indeed going to be about three hours, then... Um, You're not injecting, like, by the way. Yeah, I know. You were breaking and I couldn't sort it out. Just the injector go. should be open, though. So I think it needs fiddling with a trimmer. Yeah, I think you got to adjust the trimmer, like, a little bit. Here's a question for anyone watching, then, who might have the manual for a V2. Is there a keyboard control for the trimmer? Oh, I've got the manual. There probably is. Oh, better shut the blower, shut the dampers, because we don't need as much steam as that. I don't know if that actually worked or not, because the steam generation rate is quite high. Um, Tom, yeah, that's about it. Right, you do, you do what you need to do then. Get some water in the boiler. I'm just going to have a quick pee. Since we're at a station, I'm allowed to jump off and go to the toilet. Because that's something new since the last time we did a live stream, is I have to wee all the time. <laughs> Which is great. That trimmer doesn't seem to be doing anything, does it? Uh, no, that's what I'm thinking. Well, only one injector's on, that's your exhaust. No, it's not, that says live. No, that's the live. The water is definitely going down. Oh, wait, hang on, check under the driver's seat. Is there a trimmer? Uh -huh. Is that a trimmer there? Yeah, that's a driver's water trimmer. So that's why that wouldn't work. Anyway, toilet break. So, while Reese is away, should I, you know, uncouple all the coaches, or...? How's your injectors going? Well, live steam doesn't seem to do anything. It is making a noise. I can just about hear it. But it's not the exhaust steam does seem to be doing something. That's quite weird. It seems like the wrong way around to me. I mean, the exhaust runs from the steam from the exhaust beats, doesn't it? Hmm. That, it that's... see what happens if I turn... Yeah, just, just oh, run the live injector. Oh. 
I'm just gonna run the exhaust because the live doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Terry Bartlett says, "If uh, we were, dr if we were mainline drivers for Steam, for DB Cargo, then we would definitely have a traction inspector on the footplate as well as a loco rep." Well, fortunately, we aren't drivers for DB Cargo. IDK13 says it, Green Arrow just isn't fe feeling it today. She is. We, we, we're getting there. We've made it from Bristol to Western. And considering we've had like 12 months off from doing this, and we're stepping back on an advanced loco for the first time in 12 months, I don't think we're doing too bad. Especially to say it's one of the more awkward advanced locos. Yeah, it is flipping awkward, this loco. Oh, shovel in, stop. 900. Yeah. There we go. I'm putting that firebox flap down to uh, parsec interference. Yeah, I think it's the um, when you've got multiple keys held down at once, it doesn't like it. Yeah, that's all I can think it is, is parsec being parsec. Dark DJ Productions says we should have taken a proper engine like a castle. Honestly, you've got no argument from me there. I didn't want to drive LNER tonight. Right, is the... Uh, hang on, I'm just trying to mess with the tender handbrake. Why? Because <laughs> I want to suck the vacuum off. Oh, Lord. Have we turned the lamp on? Yeah. Right. Ejector. Yeah. Well, coal's good. Water, boiler, water is good. I think the yeah, passengers... Yeah, but is it going up? It is. Uh, it was. Maybe you're stealing all the steam for the ejector. It does seem that the life and the... Uh, Exhaust injectors seem to be the wrong key binds. <laughs> well, I would say that, but if you actually have a look on the cab, injector live steam, um, injector exhaust, that, that's the exhaust one that I'm using, which seems to be working like the live. I wonder if they're just labelled the wrong way around. That's what I'm wondering. But to be honest, if the Bossman Games um, v uh, Castle class had been released by now, I can honestly say we'd have been driving that. Oh, it's one for in the future, isn't it? When it's released, we will definitely be uh, redoing this run, I think. Right, what time is it in game? 9.11. Oh, 9.12. I think it's time to go. What do you think? I think if we ever actually want to get to Kings with you. Why is it not doing anything? What's it not doing anything? Right, I, I've definitely taken the handbrake off. All the actual brakes are off. What's the speed limit? 25. So, Chris is telling me to kill the boiler, but to be perfectly honest, I don't think I really need to put any effort in to do that. At some point, we're going to mess this up, I'm sure. I think that's probably enough uh, steam cocking. Do 
just putting out there, Reese. I've got both injectors open and neither of them seem to be doing anything. Yeah, let's have another look at that. I'm pretty sure this is because of the trimmers. Nope, trimmers n Are the valves open? One is and yep. one's not. That one at the other side doesn't appear to be fully... Um, Come on. See, that says exhaust tender water feed, but if I press L and K... L? Ah, oh, there we are. Is that working now? It doesn't sound like the injector's on. Both steam valves are open, both water valves are open. Let's m mess with the trimmer. That sounded like it were doing something for a second. It's very difficult because the sounds have gone funny. Sorry, I need to drive a minute. Speed limit's 60, so that's fine. Right, let's try. Right, so that should be everything off. Let's try K. And I. Now that's injecting, isn't it? It sounds like it is. There we are. I've opened the trimmer all the way. Well, it's putting something in, so that'll do. Because I, I think you've got to adjust the trimmer more open. That sounds like it's stuttering a bit to me. Yeah, it was open too much, wasn't there? I mean, I can probably adjust the steam flow to get the same effect, but... I think we're about to rejoin the main line. Oh, we got a 40 mile an hour zone. Ah, oh, because we're crossing back onto the uh, the down main. Crossing back over at 40 mile an hour. Oh, less than 40. After this, we're going to open the taps, I think. Just make sure she gets across. She's definitely injecting. She's at 92. Do you see that? Yeah. Right, I would say that we are across. And I'm going to open the taps. Speed limit's 110 apparently. So let's uh, put the power down. Speed limit's 110, so let's do it. Or as fast as we can get, anyway. Sam, we're actually driving competently now. Oh, like I said, by the time we get to Kingsway, we'll be experts. Oh, we'll be professionals then. If we haven't blown it up from, you know, negligence due to tiredness. What's the word? Fatigue? Most likely fatigue. We need one of those um, blue signs that you get on the motorway at the side of the track. Tiredness kills. Take a break. Next service is <laughs> in. Just all the way across the... Uh... You can stick one on that bridge there. That'd do.
Right, almost at 50 mile an hour. I would recommend notching back a bit, Reese. Yeah. Yeah, we are losing steam now, aren't we? JB Video says uh, he would love to see us drive the Black 5 over the West Highland Line extension. I would like to do that one, you know. It is, a nice one. it is on our list of ones to do, I think. You can set 52.12 on it. Shut the fire roll door. It sounds like one of those um, elaborate sayings of shock, doesn't it? Shut the fire roll door. <laughs> Get the bacon on. Speaking of getting stuff on, is that water level going up? Yes, I think so. I can hear it now. Hey, hey, we're getting there. It must have been while we were stationary, like it uh, muck to the trimmers. Yeah, when it's stationary, you have to adjust also, the trimmers. Also, the boiler pressure is tanking. Yeah. It is big time, isn't it? I'll have to ease her off. Why is the boiler pressure tanking? Because you've got the injectors on. Shouldn't be taking it down that much. What's that fire mass? 840? 840, yeah. That's pretty close to ideal. Huh. Hang on, something's going on, isn't it? We're losing pressure pretty rapidly. I think it must be because we're injecting. Right, let's try... Um... Just, yeah, knock them off for a minute. No, the pressure's still tanking. Oh, is it because you just put coal on? Shouldn't be. Dampers are all the way open, aren't they? Yeah. Huh, well, I don't know what's going on then. I'm going to have to ease her back a bit more then. That boiler pressure is reasonable. If that's saying 825, 824, that's ban on ideal. Have you still got the ejector open? Uh, the small one was. I don't know about the big one. I mean, I think we want the small one open and the big one shut, don't we? I don't even know where the big one is. Neither do I. No. So, again, we do... A it's LNER. We might as well be driving something German. I don't even know where the big ejector is. I don't even know if it has one. It might it may it may not. Pressure seems to be holding stable there. Let's try. Yeah, chuck some rock on. I want to see if it affects the boiler pressure. I know if you open the fire, the big firebox door, it really does. It kills it. You've turned the active fireman on. Hmm. Alright, it's off now. No, it's on. No, it's off. It's on again. There we are. 
Hmm. Right, Steam Generation's going back up. Let's open her up again a little, see what Dad does. See, I'm opening her up, and the Steam Generation is going up with... with the movement of the reg, which is what it should be. Yeah. But we're going to have to inject again soon. Let me try um, setting up that exhaust. The one that we think is live, but shouldn't be live. See, that is definitely tanking the fresh layer. Oh no, but let it stabilise itself a bit. See, now that's injecting. Supposedly. Which it is going up. Well, we seem to be... Uh, pressure's gone down quite a bit, mind. Yeah, which I don't... understand. Can I just have a look at the tender taps and make sure the water's off? There we are. Alright, water's definitely off. We can leave it like that for a... Let the boiler pressure recover a bit now. Stick some more rock on for that one. We're just approaching High Bridge in Burnham. Yeah, I, I can't understand it. I can't understand why the fire mass is where it should be. We've got all the dampers open. We've got decent drafting. Well, the, high, the pressure's going back up very quickly now. We must have just had one of the injectors in the wrong place or something. This is know. just such a weird loco to drive. Like you've, you've really got to learn how to drive it before you do it, haven't you? No. <laughs> I think we're doing all right, though. Oh, I think all things considered. Let's open I think the we're reg. Doing a lot worse. Right, regs through the roof now. Let's get some speed. Let's use some of that steam we're getting. Are we on a gradient? No, nope, dead level. Yeah, something that'll be interesting. Um, you were talking earlier about Bossman Games Castle. I still think we should do a race with the castle, the king and the cathedral. Because Chris will have his... Um, new model of the king out in the not too distant future which will have his new locomotion 2.0 scripting on it i take it good says we closed the damper at the last station and the heat died oh yeah that'd be your fault then well i closed the damper at the last station i'm amazed that'd be your fault, but then? i'm sure when i opened it it took ages for the for it to come back right okay so the damper takes a little bit of time to get working then. Look at that. Look at the difference it's made. God, you're going to have to really start injecting now. Tom, stop... What's that saying? Point 0.5? Yeah. Tom's trying to start a fight in the chat. <laughs> What's he saying? Castles are better than kings. <laughs> I mean, he's got a point. Are you shoveling now? I'm trying to.
I'm also trying to inject, but that doesn't appear to be working either. No. Again, I think we need to mess with the trimmers. It'll be the one under your seat, that's the side I'm injecting on. Oh, it should be. No, it's not. Hmm. Alright, what's going Again, on? Again, I'm, pr I'm pressing the key for the water valve, but it's not actually doing anything. If you have a look at the tender. Nope, nothing's happening yet. That's doing that one. I think we've suffered a, an injector failure. Right, get the other one on. Right, give us a second, let's... Yeah, stop. Yeah, this engine can have injector failures. Yeah, but it would tell us if we had one. Would it? Yeah. Right, let's both them on, both them off. On. Um, right, that sounds like it's injecting now. There we go, it's injecting. Eesh. Well, this is going well. Can you see the uh, readings on the left there? No, I don't have a clue. <laughs> well, you got 0 0.34 and increasing. That's all right. I'll let you keep an eye on it. How far is left on the run? Dark DJ says... Um, it's a difficult one because we're not really making that good progress to be honest we started 40 minutes late it's a long old run we're not even at Taunton yet we gotta get over um, Wellington Bank as well Oh, we're at Bridgewater. What does... Um... Well, we're up at 70 mile an hour. Right, Taunton is 11.6 miles. Then Exeter is 42. Newton Abbott 62. Paynton 70. And Kingsway 76. So if we assume we're going to manage, what would you say, 60 mile an hour? Yeah. A few stops in there. We've probably got, what, an hour and a half, two hours? I'd say probably more like two hours. JB, JB Video reckons we need to take water at Taunton. Um, 2,700... What's the next stop after Taunton? Newton Abbott? No, e Exeter. Exeter. Yeah. I reckon Exeter is probably best for water. Yeah. That's another 20 odd miles away. Yeah. Yeah, we've got enough to cover that much. I think James Smith thinks we were born yesterday. He keeps saying to press the backspace key to change the injector whistle. What, what in you mean like this? Burp. <laughs> Injector intake, sorry, not whistle. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with the injectors, because they don't work, but then, like, you open them and close them and reset them all, and then they do work. 
They're like real injectors, just very temperamental. She's a very temperamental girl, this one. Old Green Arrow. That's LNER, isn't it? Yeah. Late and never early right away. Hey. Which we're trying our best to uphold. But we got um, 10 coaches up uh, Wellington Bank, which is going to be hysterical. Honestly, I think we'll be fine. It's a hefty like, climb. I, I cannot see the bank giving us any more issue. <laughs> 40 miles to Exeter. Yeah, we can manage that. And if not, we can just do an emergency stop at the side of the line and get a fire engine out. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which, aren't you getting one commission for over the hills? I am, yes. From four games. Is still going up. It's a little bit high, isn't it? Yeah, it's way high. Hopefully it'll burn through relatively quick at this speed, though. Yeah, the firebox door won't shut in properly again. Oh. Also, we're priming. Oops, quick, get that injector shut, because will, that will destroy the cylinders. Yeah. Eesh. I just opened the uh, cylinder drain cocks. Did you? Yeah. It doesn't look like it. No, because we're going so fast. There's no sound from it for some reason either. That's what I mean. Also, train sim says it's still shut. Oh. Ah, there oh, we go. There we go. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary to be honest. No, the water levels come right down. Yeah, and if it were going to blow up, it would have done so by now. It would have gone pop de ping. Speaking of pop de ping, let's save the game. <laughs> um, so, yeah, getting a fire engine commissioned for over the hills. That's right, yeah. Done a few commissions lately. The truck. I wonder if. I wonder if we could get that fire engine set up as a working one. Well, I'm waiting to see what he says once it's made, because I wanted it to ideally have a crew spraying water but I think that might be pushing the boundary um I mean we might be able to do something with child objects and particle effects yeah you could um like set um you know like safety valve steam something like that coming from nozzle on it yeah I don't know if you'd be able to have it moving, but you could certainly do it static with something coming out of it. Yeah. Right, we've... Oh, so we're holding 70 mile an hour, that's not bad going. Well, we got 10 on the back, holding 70. She's blowing off. We've got... How many miles is it? Five and a half miles-ish. Miles Are we stopping at Taunton? Yeah. Oh, we're going up this weird um, bridgey thing now. Why, why this line does it, I don't know. We're getting Why not? a little bit of extra speed going down the other side, though. Yeah, uh, it's to get them um, other two lines under it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, speed's picking up. Look at that. 72. You're going to have to slam on the brakes for Taunton, though. Oh, yeah. How long have we got? 4.6. Oh, we might actually hit 75 mile an hour. Yeah, and as soon as you say that, the speed the drops off. The moment that we hit it, i got to dump the, drop both anchors and dump the brakes for, uh, for Taunton. 
Anyway, I'll be reducing speed. You'll be shove. You'll be um, shoving the injectors on by the look of it. I'm trying to. Be quick, because I'm gonna have to start slowing down soon. There we are. Three miles to Three Taunton. Miles well, we're making progress at last, Sam. We're making progress. We're getting there. British Rail. <laughs> did you see my screenshots of the steam-powered Intercity 125? I did. It was such a good-looking uh, concept, steam-powered Intercity. It, re I it is. It, it really works as well. I'd love to do um, a virtual footplate run on doing that, but I think a lot of people get triggered by it. All the more reason to do it. 1.5 miles to Taunton. So I'm going to start easing her back. Up to 30% on the reverse. Uh, Let me just um, shut the fire rail door, which should be done. Close off the injector, which should be done. All right, she's all yours. Right, oh, I'm going to start slowing her down then. You get quite like, big lag spikes every now and then. I think you get that with train sim, regardless of whatever what machine you're on. Yeah. Oh, um, ho, 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 ho. we've completely locked up. Oh. oh, we'll have mega wheel flats. Did you? Nobody saw that, right? I mean, at the end of this run, we might as well just not bother stopping at Kingsway and just dump the engine straight into the sea. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it, it'll be in scrap condition by then. <laughs> We might as well just send it to, to Barry Scrapyard. <laughs> Tom asks, have we blown the middle cylinder? Not yet, um, surprisingly. Yeah, as far as we know, not yet. The steam is just Reese playing around with the cylinder taps. Because he's scared of blowing up the middle cylinder. Yeah, that's... <laughs> The irony being, I might blow the middle cylinder by trying not to blow the middle cylinder. <laughs> right, there's only like four cables left to Taunton. I don't really want to be adding lots of speed. Buckeye Nation Railroad, a hello to your cat. Incidentally, talking about cats, I was watching a video about the Franco Rush, uh, the Franco French, sorry, the Franco Prussian War of 1870, and the people of Paris started eating Please. their cats. Are we stopping? Yes. Are you sure? Well, we're locked up again. <laughs> I think we've totally just uh, taken out the platform there at Taunton. It, it's fine, the platform will slow us down. We're a little bit out of gauge for Taunton. Oh, look! Our saviour! Ah. Our saviour! From a previous live stream. I just gotta remember exactly where the marker is for it. It'll be Sod's Law, like it'll be on another platform. No, it should be here. Press um, F4, that should bring it up. I think we're right oh. on it. Let's give it a go. Let's see. What button was it again? T. 
Yes, it's going up. Oh, yes. oh mate. Do you know right, what? In like this, it's almost please, like we planned um, it. <laughs> give, give us a second. What, go on then. Let's. Um... I've just caused, caused irreparable damage to the driving wheels. It's fine. The square wheels will give us better traction. Yeah. We won't need the sand then. That's on. That live injector is definitely a load of pants. I mean, it sounds like it's doing some of that. Try mess. To, just use the um, the live injector, but then mess with the trimmer and see what happens. So that's the exhaust went off. Have a play with that. Oh. She always starts blowing off right when you need to hear what's uh, happening. Yeah. I'm going to try... Yeah, I, I think it's just labelled wrong. Maybe there was an update that I missed or something. Oh, hang on a sec. Look at the, the label for that side. Exhaust. I the tenders crossed over. Yeah, put that. Yeah. That's injecting anywhere. My thinking was, while we're filling up with water, I want to fill the boiler up with yeah, water. Yeah, same as good. And then, once the boiler is full of water, I'm going to go on it to the loo. Alright, JB Video says, safe to say that neither of you have root knowledge for this route. Um, we do. We've driven this before. We know exactly what we're doing. Yeah. I mean, that, that water tanker that was yeah. there from the Bahamas live stream, you know. It's almost like we planned it completely. Ah, crap. Ejector off. How do I do it? Oh, God. Please don't panic. I thought you went to the toilet. Not yet. I said I was going to when the boiler's full. Oh, right. But just keep the cylinder taps open. Yeah, I will. Which you should have done already, but haven't. Uh, yeah. Well, everyone was whinging because I had them open. Yeah, you should... With a prolonged stop, you should be opening them pretty much as soon as we stop. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to go nip to the loo. I'll be back in a moment. Yeah, you nip to the loo. I'm going to jump off the cab and take some uh, photographs because she looks lovely. <laughs> And the driver got killed by standing in the six foot by a passing train. Okay, the virtual foot plate headboard might be a little touch too big because I did scale it up. So, yeah. Incidentally, for the people watching, that was a commission by Jordan's Railway Simulator for the virtual foot plate 3D headboard. And I think it looks quite good. Let's climb up this uh, signal. I think that looks quite decent, actually. We haven't blown it up. We haven't broken the middle cylinder. It's almost like we know what we're doing. SJB Media 1996 says, know what you're doing-ish. Don't break her more than you have already. We haven't broke it. Yet. We haven't broke the middle cylinder. That's, that's like, very good going. It's just this next section now up over Wellington is uh, terrifying me already. Right, while Sam is on the loo, I'm just going to chuck some rock on. And I'm back. I was just doing a bit of shoveling. Yeah, no worries. 
Tell you what, I do find it interesting how many people in the live stream have complete and total lack of faith in our abilities. It's not really surprising though, is it? <laughs> what I've no, also... but, I mean, everyone's like, don't break it, don't crash it, and all this sort, and it's like, for the virtual foot plates, we do actually try and do a proper job. I've been messing with the firebox door. Yeah. And you hold it, it goes onto like these latches. Yeah. But then if you press the R button, it sort of moves it a little bit more. Yeah. If that makes sense. Apparently halls were preferable for the Devon Hill crews. Jubilees do quite well on them. Well, as we found out, Bahamas, she did really well going up over the south, uh, over Wellington. Didn't have much of a choice in the matter. No. <laughs> Stopped at, um... How many coaches did we have on for that live stream? I think it was nine. So we've actually got one extra. I think so, yeah. Right, well, yeah, we've... Well, I We've taken well, like the water. Run, to go um, we were it was the first time a jubilee had been over the um, Devon Banks, so no one really knew quite exactly what load it should have. And we had nine coaches on, and we had a um, signal stop. Yeah. Um, right at uh, at Totnes, right at the bottom of the hill. So then we had to get from a standing start over the hill. Um, no one really knew quite exactly what to expect. The diesel had gone ahead of us, so it wasn't behind us to give us a push if we needed it. Um, so yeah, it, it was interesting. I think it's fair to say we're ready to go, Sam. I'd say so. Um, is the tender full up? Yeah, completely. Um, well, in that case, full wreck it. Let's go then. Would help if I took the brakes off first. <laughs> oh, we're such a Mickey Mouse organisation. Right, this is where it gets interesting, Sam. Is it? Yeah. Why? South, um, Wellington. That'd be right. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We've got water, we've got fire. I left the, I haven't touched the dampers this time. That's good. Just crack the blower with that. I mean, it probably will take, um, a few minutes for that steam generation rate to get back up again. You know, for drafting to start having an effect. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Bossman Games water tanker that was placed strategically. <laughs> Almost as if it were planned. That's actually saved our bacon, I think. I'm very paranoid about breaking this third cylinder. I love these new cloud effects. They are very nice, aren't they? Just amazes me with Train Sim how much potential there is with it. Like, I think it's one thing that developers are continuing to show is that from the base game this started out as it's evolved so much it's almost a totally different game Sam the middle cylinder's broke excellent how did that happen well we're now a two um, we're now a two cylindered engine so we'll, we'll manage it I have no idea how that happened there was no warning message or nothing was it because I uh, was it because I didn't um, 
use the cylinder cocks enough? Who knows? Right, so uh, <laughs> we're probably down about 25% power now. Uh, <laughs> so everyone in the chat is incredibly amused by this. <laughs> Yeah, but there was no warning at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch the live stream back because I genuinely don't know where where that happened. One reckons it's when you were coasting into taunt and you blew it out. But I'm sure that I wound her up to 30% there. That's why I'm going to have to watch this this live stream back. Oh. So we're about to try and take on Wellington Bank. I've got a feeling we're going to have to reschedule this live stream sound because we've, we've screwed it up too much. <laughs> give it a chance, give it a chance. Well, we're trying to take 10 coaches up over Wellington Bank. Come on, Reese, she's a capable engine. She can do it. Right. Even on two she's, cylinders. She's still injured. It's a, effectively, she's had open heart surgery, and we're trying to force her to play rugby. That's effectively what we're doing. Look, she's a three legged beast, and she's running on only two. She'll manage it. She's, she's got, got two good legs. That's all she needs. Oh, God. Everyone is saying keep going. Let's see how she does then. So Green Arrow with one arm tied behind her back over Wellington with ten sil with ten coaches on the back. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. I think we're just gonna have to floor it, aren't we? I'm trying not to Yeah, I said that. I was trying not to use too much steam before we get to the bank, so it gives you plenty to inject with. How far away is the bank? I think we're not far away from it now. That's it at the end of the um, hub there, isn't it? <clears throat> In that case, I will... Get the injectors on now. <laughs> exactly. And chuck some more rock on, I think. Let's just, um... Northern Soul Express says, Suddenly, boiler explosion. Thanks for that. That's the useless one I don't want to use. Albin says we need the Licky Banker. Well, I think we'd have more luck with the Licky Banker than we are with the V2 right now. Buckeye Nation Railroader says, Just break all of the speed rules and go for it. Daniel X, you says, was that open surgery in rugby remark a Top Gear reference? Yes, it was. I can't remember what episode it was. Hmm. Right, uh, let's have a look at... Yep, we're just hitting the gradient now, Sam. Are you having trouble injecting again? Yeah. Yeah, don't don't like use both injectors because that's just gonna hemorrhage our steam. It won't even let me use one of them, never mind both of them. Adjust the trimmers. I have. Okay, let him cool down a minute then. We must have messed around with them a bit. There, yeah, she's injecting. There's only one in one in 203 at the minute, but it is going to get a lot steeper. Yeah, that'd be right. Oh. 
Well, we're doing 48. Are you taking it steady? No, she's uh, she's all the way open. Ah, that's good. Yeah, it does say regulators like 62%. Yeah, if you look at the, the actual reg, it's through the roof. Yeah, so ah. that, that's that's his middle cylinder then, isn't it? Yeah, we're down on power, aren't we? But will this middle cylinder really inhibit us on this hill is what I'm worried about. Nah, we'll be fine. I was worried about this hill even on three cylinders. Now we got two. We should have taken 14. Ah. All the odds are against us. We can manage it, Reese. Well, the speed is still going up. I'm easing her back just a little. What's the gradient? One in two two two. Yeah, we're gonna start feeling yeah. it. Oh, uh, we're priming. No, we're fine. You don't think it was because of when we primed? I don't think so. There was just no mo no moment where it we felt it though. Fifty one. Well, we're on the we are on the bank. Boilers full. We're blowing off. Plenty of rock Boilers on. Boilers full. Fires full. Sir. Is now a good time to go get a coffee? Probably not. <laughs> Once we get up the other side and we're coasting towards uh, Exeter, go for it. My job, we've got a full boiler, we've got a full fire, we're blowing off. I'm off to the buffet car for a Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> No, you're not, because there's no corridor connection on. <laughs> it won't stop me. <laughs> you just climb over the, uh, climb over the bunker down into the corridor connecting, on the, on the support coach. Yep, there's no overhead live wires, so it's safe to do so. But there's stickers on the boiler. Yeah, but there isn't any above us, so it's fine. Right, Jordan, Jordan's railway simulator has joined. Let's just show Jordan really quick. Here you are, Jordan. I managed to figure it out. I got the virtual footplate headboard on the loco. It only took about two hours and a lot of swearing, but I managed it. Welcome to the world of TS Deving. I know. Even the simplest of things take hours and involve a lot of swearing. So we're holding steady at about 51 mile an hour. We're on less of a gradient, but if I remember rightly, it goes slightly less and then it goes goes to the heavy gradient I'd whack that injector back on now while we're blowing off because oh we're hitting the gradient this is it Sam well I've done my job fair play Sam I'm going to be absolutely fair to you we're at the bottom of the gradient you know fires burning nice and hot you got boilers pretty full and the there's steam to spare. High, but I've, um, I've deliberately fired it high so like, it'll drop down while we're on the grade and yeah. it'll give you more freedom to control engine without mucking up the key binds. We're just about to hit the gradient now. In fact, I think I can see the point where we, we hit it. Uh, SJB Media. Yeah, whenever anyone asks how do I reskin something, I can now say, go look at my tutorial video. And go look at Reese's to see how a first timer does it. With great difficulty. That's it, we're on the gradient now. Jordan says, wait until you see or start playing with Die now that he's sorted. We're on the hill, Sam. One in one three three. Oh, it's not a hill at all. At the moment it gets worse. 
starting to lose speed. 1 in 90. There we go. I think it goes to about 1 in 50 at some point. Yeah, I do keep forgetting. The LNER didn't really have hills, did they? I'll notch you up to about 30%. Reg is all the way open. Well, we got plenty of steam. Yep. Because she's blowing off, so you've you know you've done a really good job there. Buckeye Nation Railroad. Is... No, we're just going to say I'm keeping an eye on that water level. Um, I'm going to chuck more in at some point, but I want to leave it till as late as possible. Still one in ninety. What we do, we're going up Wellington Bank, we get to a tunnel, and then it's in the tunnel that you peak the gradient. Right, so I'll start injecting when we get to the tunnel then, unless we need to worry before we get to it. I suspect that we're going to need to worry before that. Well, since we're blowing off. If we're blowing off, don't let her blow off, use that steam, mate. Get that water in the boiler. Oh, we're down to 35. I'm going to notch her back up to 40%. Tom says we're going to go through a tunnel, squeak through the funnel and never come out again. Well, Speed-wise, she's holding her own. She's She is losing, but uh, we're still moving forward. Looks like Sam's having trouble with the inject. Oh, there we go. She's injecting. I don't know why you've got to do that. Like, it's like you've got to completely shut it off and reset it to get it working again. I'm suspicious that it's because of... Um... Oh, there's the trees. We're going past the trees on the left. These massive poplar trees. Um, and I think that's the tunnel up ahead. Oh, maybe not quite. I am just going to do something really quickly. Let's just take a sneaky break. <laughs> there we go. Twenty-eight, come on. See, I told you we had not to worry about. Well, the boiler's doing all right. We got, we've got enough steam. She's injecting. We're moving forward. That's the main thing. At his next water stop, we'll go down with some duct tape and patch up that middle cylinder. Yeah. We'll just pop to Lidl and get an arc welder from the middle of Lidl section. We'll just weld it shut. Yeah, well, um... We'll go in support coach, we'll get our spanners out, we'll just disconnect the motion in the middle and then duct tape over the gap we've blown in it and then it'll be right. There we go. Sam! Everyone knows duct tape can withstand 225 psi of steam pressure. We're on the 1 in 80. We've nearly made it to the tunnel. Come on Green Arrow, don't stall. If this was in real life, there'd just be a volcano erupting from the from the uh, chimney. Oh god, get that uh, fire door shut quick! Quick! Oh god! Oh god! I'll be fine. She's gonna fatal blowback. Oh god! She's not. Hold your breath. We'll go again. Prepare your ears. There we are.
I think we made it over. Why? Not yet, but we will do. Told you we'd do it. Be prepared to absolutely rag it down the other side of the bank, though. Oh, yeah. Like, as soon as we're out of this tunnel, I'm pouring a load of rock on the fire. It's all downhill here to Exeter, then. Excellent. Which is... 20 miles away. 20 miles away. Oh, Kingsway is less than 60 miles now. To be honest, we're going to be leaving the Great Western before we hit the South Devon Banks. Because you go through, I think it's Newton Abbott, and then you pretty much stay on the coast then. And you um, make your way down towards Torquay, Paynton, and then on to Kingsway. This is a lovely route. There's the hill. This is it, we're cresting it. Sam is chucking rock on like a madman. He's certainly trying to. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wrong way. Power. Bleed the reservoir and gun it. I mean, really, there's only one option, isn't there? And it's full wreck. Well, considering that we've only got two cylinders, it's either full reg or nothing now, isn't it? I mean, that was always the case. There was never any other option. Speed's going up nicely. We are going to have to be careful about speed. I am genuinely gutted, but not surprised that I managed to blow the uh, blow the middle cylinder. Yeah. I'm yeah, determined. Like first time. We're gonna have to try the V2 again at some point because I'm determined not to blow the middle cylinder out. We'll go faster if we drop the tender. That's a really good idea. Let's just uncouple it. We'll just take the loco on to the end. Well, we can manage just the loco with two cylinders. i got to say, I'm quite impressed that she made it at Wellington Bank with ten on and only two cylinders on. So you don't have enough faith in your engines, Reese. That's your trouble. I'm just remembering that time when we drove something southern on on this same route, actually. What did I tell you? Close the cylinder taps and we'll just gain that little bit of extra pressure and we'll get over the hill. Yeah. And we did it. Fair play, we did. You've got to have more faith. What's the speed limit here? 100. As fast as you like, as fast as you like. I think we're pretty much following the M5 motorway now. Watch out for tipper trucks. Oh yes. <laughs> I thought exactly the same thing yeah. there, Reese. Lag spike, oh dear. So we got 49 viewers watching. We made it over what I think is probably the hardest part of the run. Don't forget, though, there is actually a fairly fierce gradient on the um, Kingsbury branch. Yes, there is, actually, between T uh, Torquay and Paynton, isn't it? 
like I think between um, in both directions, the middle of that branch line's on the top of a hill, so you've got a fair steep grade both directions going up to it. Oh yeah, up to Churston. Yeah, you go from sea level up to the top of a hill and then back down to sea level again. We're passing through Tiverton Parkway. We made it over the hills. Oh, he said the thing. <laughs> we need like a drink, a virtual footplate drinking game where somebody says you made it over the hills and we have to have like two shots or something. I've got to admit, a drunk virtual footplate would be incredibly interesting. It would. <laughs> like, tired virtual footplate is bad enough, but drunk virtual footplate, oof. We'd have to do it with this loco as well, wouldn't we? Oh yeah. Make um, it as difficult as possible for us. I mean, maybe not necessarily just this loco, but we'd have to go with a loco that you can properly break without instantly ending the scenario. Massive lag spike there. Oh, come on, train That means we've got a nice scenery chunk coming up. Hey. I have to be honest, this route is beautiful. It's um, BHBP. I can never remember what that an acronym means. But um, it's, it's essentially, it's just all of the Western routes merged together. Yeah. Um, but they've enhanced the scenery as well. Um, and they're just continuously modernizing it based on what it looks like at present. So they, you know, they're never going to be finished with it. It's just continuously going to be updated. But I just love the idea that it's going to be a really well detailed route, and you could drive all the way from Paddington to Penzance via pretty much any option you want. Oh, I think this was the place where we stopped with Bahamas. I think it might well have been. If we um. Yeah, we stopped in that loop, didn't we? I think so, yeah. What's the gradient here? 1 in 155. Buckeye Nation Railroader says virtual footplate idea, take a train over, solder grade, and every time you stall, take a shot. Okay. Easy peasy. We'll be coming out of it sober as a priest on Sunday. Welshman2008 says 4200 classes manage the Dartmouth, line, the Dartmouth line. Okay, well yeah, but they're only hauling like 7 or 8 coaches. And they're massive heavy freight tank engines that were designed exactly for, you know, steep hills. Yeah, they, they are... Heavy freight engines are, generally speaking, pretty good for heritage lines because they're not designed to go very fast, but they're designed to haul weight. So anything with a hill, they do pretty well on. I have to say, I think, and I know I'm really biased with sounding like this, but I think the Great Western 4200 is probably the best engine for a preserved railway. I don't know if it's uh, the best, but I'd say it's certainly a contender. It's certainly up there. Because I, I think, I mean, comparatively, like, the fuel consumption is probably a bit higher than, like, a pannier tank and, you know, a prairie or something. I would but say, um, certainly for that particular branch line with the hills it's got on it, it's probably just about right for it. But, when, yeah, um, on a heritage line where you're hauling, like, six, seven, eight coaches, and it can reliably haul without stalling... So I'd say, we, you know, we've pretty much maintained a steady 60 mile an hour all the way down the other side there, really. Yeah. Can I'll, we coax any more speed out of it? A little bit more. I'd, let's try. We've got the pressure for it. Let's see what happens. 
Albin says, what about the 7200 class? Well, to be honest, the 7200 was just a slightly longer version of the 4200. They were rebuilt um, both as 5205s and um, and 7200s, just with a longer bunker. I think an extra set of trailing pony trucks and um, bigger water and coal supply. It's pretty much the only difference. It's like the 2800s as well, which are virtually the same thing, but we're just... A tender. A tender. And here we get into the uh, intricacies of Great Western Loco design, which is very much... If same it's but not different. Broken, don't fix it. Same but different. But to be fair, I have to admit, I think out of the big four, the Great Western's Locos were the best looking ones. Ooh. I never thought I'd hear you say that. No, no, genuinely, I, I think the Great Western design, um, you know, particularly with the 3,500 gallon tenders, is the best of any of the grouping area stuff. Um, Jer Jeremy Cooper. Go on. I like um, Stanny stuff, but Great Western stuff just has that simplicity and elegance to it. I'm and getting... I am a big fan of inside valve gear. It's just... Um, well, maybe not from a maintenance point of view. Anyway. There's just something about the Grey Western that they can make Victorian look modern. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's that... Um, you know, outside cylinders but inside valve gear. For me, that's the best looking configuration for an engine. Nice. Um, and when you've got all like the valve gear and everything outside, it looks a bit complicated, Len. There's a bit too much going on and you sort of, it becomes a bit more practical rather than beautiful. Jeremy Cooper says the problem with something like a 4200 is that they oscillate back and forwards quite a lot which is a rough ride on coaches yeah, yeah I can get that I found that with the 7F on the West Somerset actually yeah, we've had it with Dub D on Worth Valley um, but generally speaking you get that with anything with small wheels and outside cylinders yeah um Industrial tank engines are particularly bad for it. Yeah. Which is why austerities are quite good for heritage lines because they're inside cylindered so they ride a lot smoother. I was going to say, even I've been behind an austerity when it's absolutely thrashing its guts out and I can't say I noticed that much oscillation. Yeah. Same thing with the pannier tank as well, actually. I mean... You said you fought a 4200, I'm going to put out that the Austerity is the perfect heritage railway engine. I'll, I'll agree with you with that, especially the smaller lines. Um, in terms of load, they can manage most loads that heritage railways need. There's a heck of a lot of them out there, so there's plenty of spares. You, you can pretty much do what you want with them as well. You can, uh, you know, make new tanks. You can add tenders to them like some lines have done. Yep, they're fairly versatile. Um, and of course, most heritage railways have one or have had one at some point in their history. It's funny, um, I actually, my dad sent me a photo actually of a ship um, at the beaches of Normandy and they yep. were laying a set of rails with sleepers on the beach from a ship yeah, and it was to offload locomotives to use in and around the I think it was the town of Caen in northern France yeah. and eventually you know when they managed the beachhead, oh we're 8 miles from Exeter but I can't, I could just imagine these guys trying to drag an austerity up the beach from this ship, it must have been hysterical you can just imagine trying to steam it up so it's ready to go when you get there can't you you just have a driver in the fireman trying to steam it, or trying to drive it. What's the, the water level? And every time you get a wave, it sort of goes whoosh, up and down <laughs> in gauge glass. I don't know, but there's something in there. Oh, yeah, that'll do. 
I know there's there's a famous picture I remember of a diesel shunter being dragged up the beach, and it's like at a forty five degree angle because it's being dragged over a sand dune. I think I remember that. It's only like a little Fowler 040 diesel mechanical thing, but it's um, oh, it looked hilarious. I just love to see like one of them with a face just be like, "What you doing, lad?" <laughs> Shouting at all the soldiers, dragging it up the beach. You can just imagine it on a heritage railway years later, can't you? During the war. <laughs> just being like Uncle Albert. <laughs> exactly like that. How far have we got? Oh, we still got a fair way to Exeter. It's, what, like five miles or something? Tell you what, I think I've got the hand of me um, firing and me injectors now, anyway. It certainly... We seem to be having more success. Apart from, obviously, destroying the middle cylinder and ruining the engine and we're going to be done for gross negligence. But other than that... To be fair, we can blame the company for making us work when it wasn't safe for us to do so because we hadn't had adequate rest. Yep, fatigue. Where was the fatigue management? Yep. Yep. That's it. We're, we're safe. We'll be fine. It'd be right. I've pretty much had the reg all the way through the roof since we left the Wellington Bank. I was going to say, it feels like since we've got down the other side of the bank, we've not really had to do anything. No. It's all downhill, mm. even though it's a long downward slope. Chucked on a bit of rock, chucked on a bit of water, not really done out with a reg. Steady away. To be honest, we found that equilibrium, haven't we, on this downhill section. And she's not used that much water either. Hmm. The cylinder costs will be taken out of our pay, apparently, according to IDK 13. What pay? What pay? We get paid the square root of nothing. Unionisation. We don't even get lunch money. I was going to say, we're going to get to Exeter. I'm going to pop to the Greggs. <laughs> yeah, that'll do for me. Hello, we'd like uh, 20 state bags to go. And be quick about it. <laughs> the engine steaming. <laughs> this train isn't leaving till we've got our pasties. Unfortunately, we won't be uh, crossing the border into Cornwall, so we won't be able to have a true Cornish pasty. I do with a steak bake. Steak bake will be all right. We'll have a Devon pasty instead. Sounds good. It's close enough. Funnily enough, I I drove to Newton Abbott not lo only a couple of weeks ago. Aye. From Swansea to Newton Abbott in one hit. That was fun. Um, to pick up a model railway layout. Ah. Which, as it turns out, is actually French. Oh, nice. I've got a couple of 040 and 060 locos that I'm going to try on it, but uh, I have a feeling that the radius of the turns is going to be too much. Yeah. Well, we're kind of limited to about 60 mile an hour on two cylinders. So, but to be honest, the next section, really, you can't really go much faster than 60 because of the speed limits. Yeah. From Exeter down to, um, you know, along the seafront, it's pretty much all 60 mile an hour there anyway. Well, that's true. So I'm not overly worried about losing that middle cylinder. Gonna have to start slowing down soon, aren't I? Yep. I'm just trying to get the engine in order for it. Three miles to Exeter.
You right. didn't catch that then, did you? Yeah, I did. I reset it. Ah, uh, phew. I need to start slowing down. Yep. Hang on, what's going on? I don't know, but it went buzz, so I started spamming Q. Yeah, every time I hear it, just spam press Q as quickly as possible. What's the yep. speed limit? Oh, we're actually... We're reducing to 65, but we're actually... We were never even doing uh, 65. Oh crap, boiler water. Yeah. Uh, there's no point worrying about uh, setting the reverser back because we've already blown the middle cylinder. JB Video is asking, how far have we got in the time I've gone and come back? I have no idea how long you've been gone for, mate. So, uh, yeah. Couldn't tell you, unfortunately. Big old land sp lag spike there. That's because we're loading up the scenery tiles for uh, Exeter, I think. Yeah. I'm not doing anything with the engine now, Reese. That's in your capable hands. Burp. Hard of starboard, full of stern. <laughs> Drop anchor. Less than 30, okay. We can do that. JB Video says, since we went over Wellington Bank. Well, we we're just arriving at Exeter. So, yeah. <laughs> you could see all the scene of it loading in in the distance then. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a hill there now. I think it's hey, quite well detailed. We're going into Platform 4, apparently. Okay. That middle cylinder does sound a bit clanky, doesn't it? That's probably all the bits of metal and uh, stuff flying off and bouncing around. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the cylinder head sort of pushing on floor, hitting on each at sleepers because it's now been blown completely out of the cylinder? Yeah. I would love to see okay. Just Trains do an update for this loco. Because mm. it is getting a bit old now. But it still holds up, I think. Out of all of the advanced logos, it still holds up quite well. Yeah. I mean, the scripting and simulations there, maybe a bit of work on the sound, maybe some new particle effects, updated textures. Apparently we've been fired for gross negligence. Well, if we've been fired, we don't need to continue on, do we? we no, we just give up here. here. Hey, Great British Trains. That's a wicked sign. If we've been fired already, I'm just going to smack everybody we pass in the head. <laughs> just stick the... Um, <laughs> the shovel we'll out of sight. Fire irons out at, <laughs> stick out fire irons out outside at cab. Bonus points for a headshot. Dunk, 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 dunk. There we go. Not bad, Reese. Right, let's do it properly this time. Cylinder cocks open. Winder full forwards. Uh, 
And over to you if you want to do some firing or something. I'm quite happy with fire, I'm just chucking a bit of water in. If oh, we have a little bit. Oh yeah, that's right. Midnight Express says uh, if the sil if the middle cylinder's gone, then the whole lot of it is gone because it's a monoblock. Not necessarily. Can you? Oh, you can actually monoblock. see the cylinder. Hmm. I mean, the monoblock means it's all one cast, and it doesn't necessarily mean the entire thing's gone. I did not know that you could actually zoom in and see that. I'm surprised that they've actually bothered modelling it, to be honest. I mean, look, we've even got, like, all... That's so anyway, awesome. we're, uh, we're, we're doing an inspection of it. Um, it, it as you can see, it, it's still there, which our X-ray vision tells us. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, look... Cylinder, yeah, it, it's uh, it is clipping through the sides a bit, but what can you do? It, you know, it's engineering. It's a bit out of tolerance, but it'll be right. Um, I mean, valve gear, that's there still. Well, I can't see anything wrong with it. It'll be right. It looks okay to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, the traction inspector will be happy. We've inspected the loco, and we're uh, we're clear to proceed to Kingswear. Yeah, I'd say so. But before we do, I am going to have to get a couple of screenshots there because that looks gorgeous. <laughs> Even if it is a broken cylinder. Did the Great Western have anything three-cylindered? Uh, no, I don't think so. They either did two or four. Hmm. Thought as much. It'd be a peeler because we could do a three-cylinder race down here, which would be quite nice. This part of the route is really well detailed now. Exeter St. David's. I did not bribe the inspector. He he wanted all those cigarettes and, and whiskey he was given. And the fact that they were in the boot of my car has nothing to do with it whatsoever. I didn't need a bribe inspector anywhere. The train works, so it's all good. Oh, we actually have station staff. Realistic looking station staff, no less. Yeah. Let's just, um... He looks a bit pissed off, so that's, uh... Yeah. Help point. Press the help point. <laughs> Let's just, um... <clears throat> I mean, look, look at that happy chap there. He oh, great, he, another he, one of those steam trains. He loves his work, doesn't he? Don't he just? Anyway, I think he wants us to get out of his station, so I think we'll uh, have to make Apparently a move. Apparently we're going to Plymouth, according to the signs. Um, eh. Nah, I think we'll call it King's Weir today. Oh, no, I meant according to the station signs. Right, let's... Break is off. It should be anyway. I left the damper open. Let's go. Well, there is only one acceptable regulator position, as we all know. Power! We're not going to wheel slip because there's not enough power to wheel slip anymore. Yeah. Well, I've already blown the cylinder, so meh, whatever. <laughs> How
how many more miles is it? So we've got 20 miles to Newton Abbott, 28 to Paynton, 34 to Kingswear. Hmm. Well, we'll be done by about quarter past 11, half 11. Another hour, you reckon? Yeah. Not too shabby. Sir Liv has arrived and said, did Reese blow the middle cylinder again? Yes, I did. <laughs> we all knew it was going to happen. We did. Oh, Callum says we've been unfired. To be honest, we've just stolen the engine. We've just, uh, we said screw the company, we're taking it. It's ours now. I know where I can find you, an engine any time I like. Better yet, I know where I can find you too. <laughs> I don't know whether I can keep that line in over the hills anymore with the plans. Hmm, we might have to change it. I know where I can find you an engine. In fact, I can find you ten. <laughs> I can find you ten. You'll have a job on getting any of them to work, though. Yeah. They're lazy and slack. They need scrapping. Right, what's the speed limit here? 75 through Exeter, St. Thomas. Right, we're going to descend now towards the Dawlish Seawall. Oh, look, it's Train Simulator's favourite camera angle. Peep, beep. beep. The hey. pathetic wisp of steam coming out in the middle. <laughs> I know. 8213 Productions has just donated £5. Thank you very much, sir. Your uh, your donation is very well uh, received. Thank you, sir. All contributions like this make uh, quite a big difference because of the amount of um, commissions that have to be made. In fact, I'm going to make a little video based on telling you all about why you should donate to the Patreon campaign. Fat 8213 Productions, uh, he already does. I believe that's Callum. He is a patron. So thank you for your, uh, thank you for your patronage. Aha, <laughs> patronage, uh, see what you did there. And the link is in the description below if anyone's looking for, for it. About 20 minutes to Newton Abbott, apparently. Not bad going. It is, Callum. Hey, I just realised something about his username, 8213. <laughs> well, we're running late in a sorry state on 8213. She's overdue for boiler work and I can't get her to steam. With a thousand tons of coal behind and a tender full of slack. My mate sent me to Coventry, but we just won't dance it back. Do you know who that was, uh, Sam? I believe I do, but I can't remember the name of him. But he's done uh, quite a few songs. Yeah, um, he was a he was a rail yeah animal. he was a railway man.
it's pretty much all flat now until we get to Newton Abbott and then we'll be on the uh, Kingswear branch. Aye. And even then, I think we've only got one little hill to get up, really. Yeah. Well, it's a steep hill, but it's not a very long hill. Yeah. But it's on the branch then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to um, schedule another Overly Hills meeting at some point. Definitely, we need to get on that. Have a recap of all progress we've made and all that malarkey. I've really been ramping up progress um, this year, actually. Getting more, day yeah. more days to actually work on it. Which is a good thing. Just one of those, and every time you look at it, it's like, oh yeah, we've got a really good idea and we can do this. It does mean adding on a significant chunk of time and work into it, but we can do it. Yeah. It's like every time we have a good idea, it just makes the project like, a bit longer. It does. We got 22 people watching. It is time is marching on. It is getting a bit late, isn't it? I hope everybody's enjoying it. We are definitely over our hours now. Yeah. It's starting to feel it now as well. Yeah, I can tell because we've both gone quiet. I literally had like three cups of coffee before I started the live stream as well. Just to try and keep awake. <laughs> yeah. Callum says, I've always enjoyed your content, Reese, so I'd support you in any way I can. Thank you, uh, Callum. This Aww. it is really appreciated. But yeah, I'm I'm Callum, just just for you actually, uh, all the patrons. I'm gonna do like a little video soon describing what's been going on all the progress reports that I've been going through and what's planned for the next few months as well it is a difficult one because it's going to take such a long time to, to do over the hills but just got to break it down into bite sized chunks and just keep going at it yeah it's just the fact that we've sort of taken what it was and we've just planned so much for it oh yeah um, it's just, it's so in depth and detailed, and it, it's just, we, we've just made a mountain of work for ourselves. Oh, AWS. What's that? 475 reduction. Okay, we're not even doing 55. So. Oh, open it up a bit, Maurice. That's full blast. <laughs> That's as far open as she. Up, Mr. Scotty. I'm giving it all she's got, Captain. That's all we've got. We are approaching the most interesting part of the route now, is the South Devon Banks. Not yet. <clears throat> not even the South Devon Banks, the Dawlish Seawall is what I meant. I was going to say, we're not even doing the South Devon Banks. Like we said, fatigue is kicking in. Yeah, big time. Oh um, yeah, that's right, they changed it to high water. Yeah. Those of you that remember seeing this route, you probably remember the big brown patches of low water, but in this uh, BHBP they've changed it to be high water, so it actually, well, it looks more interesting, I think. I wonder if my U-boat is still there. 
<laughs> it might not be actually because I think it was a different version of the route. Spot the Uber. A fun family activity that like everyone can enjoy. Spot the Uber. I'm determined to find it. Now. Well, I remember I put one in this bay somewhere. Didn't you put a face on it as well? Yeah, probably. Knowing me. <laughs> no, I don't think it's there. That's okay. Oh, whistleboard. You got 886 pounds of coal and you got 0.8 of the boiler. Oh, we're happy. Do you know, ever since the explosion of the middle cylinder, she's actually doing alright. So, the conclusion there is that the Great Western were right all along and three cylinder designs are crap. Yeah. That third cylinder is meant to be blown up. Yep, we've converted it to two cylinder and it's got no issues now. Apart from the, the lack of speed, but you know. Potato, yeah, potato. We're not doing too bad, all things considered, I'd say. We are passing Star Cross. Lovely dribbler. John Luss says don't get a fatal blowback in the tunnels. Can't make any promises. We will try our best. God, wouldn't that be a disappointing end to a stream? Well, two and a half hours in and we end up having a fatal blowback. Genuinely, if that happens, I will rage quit, throw my laptop through the window and just go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be it, chaps. The Herbal Hills have been cancelled yet again. Once again. <laughs> Buckeye Nation Railroader says it's time to convert to oil firing. I would have really liked to have seen um, it was it the, the Great Western 2800 that uh, Caledonia Works made. I really, yeah. I really would have loved to have seen the oil fired variant. Yeah. Would have made such an interesting concept for Train Sim. Now, if I remember rightly, it always routes us the wrong way at Dawlish Warren, but it seems to have gone the correct path this time. It's a pleasant surprise. Oh yeah, Dawlish Warren, this is where those uh, camping coaches are. These are up for sale. Yeah, all right. I remember seeing it on the internet. All these carriage uh, camping coaches are up for sale. I wonder if any of them will find their way back into preservation. I hope so. Whistle is stuck open. Yeah. I am going to have to just uh, hop out the cab and take some screenies, I'm afraid. Give us a second, Reese. Do you want to, um... I can't get back in the cab. <laughs> okay. There you go. I think I caught it in time. I did catch it in time. We're all good. Let's just... Were, um... Yeah, it was just that, um... I had the injectors on, I didn't want you to be doing a load of pictures and then priming and then properly blowing <laughs> it up. The engine blew up because I was standing on the side of the track taking screenshots. So, explain to us again, why is the engine in pieces? Well, the driver jumped out while we were doing line speed to go get photos. It 
is such an iconic piece of railway in the UK, isn't it? I have to it's say, I, be... oh, they've even included the bit that's been repaired as well. Ha. That's what I love about this route. They really have just put the attention into the detail. Yeah. Got to admit, I think settling Carlisle, Dawlish, it's definitely up there as one of the most iconic railways in the UK. I really hope that the Settling Carlisle gets a bit of love because the route is a little bit old. I would absolutely love to see, I mean, there's a 1970s skipped into Carlisle route, but I would absolutely love to see a properly done skipped into Carlisle. Um, you know, done to this, done up with scenery to today's standards. If anyone has any requests for screenshots, let me know. Although it may be too late. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's okay. We'll, we'll emergency stop and go back and do it again. I like to try and get, like, train spotting scenes. Yeah. Is the fire door shut? Oop. <laughs> nope. Yes. Maybe. Who knows? Meh. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. <laughs> What's the speed limit here? Yeah, 60, so we're doing 59.3. So really, blowing out that middle cylinder are actually good because it means we've been able to keep to all the speed limits and still rag it. I haven't touched the regulator. It's just been open since we left uh, Exeter. Yep. This, she's just been ragging it at full power the whole time. I am a little disappointed that I did manage to, you know, to break the middle cylinder. But are you really surprised? No. <laughs> Not surprised in the slightest, if I'm honest. <laughs> I, when this live stream ends, I am going to go back through and try and find out where it happened. Yeah. I wish there was a way to edit the video as well, like, once it's been, you know, once we finish the live stream and it goes live on YouTube as a, as a video, if I could just edit that first, like, 20, 30 minutes out. Yeah. Crop out the standing bit. When yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. When we were just messing around at the beginning of the live stream. I think the only way we could really do like a bit of well, record it and then um, sixty for ten myth, that's fine. Yeah, a bit to record it and then like upload it after, but the only problem with that is you don't have all your live chat and interaction or anything then. Yeah, exactly. Which also gives you something to talk about while you're actually streaming. I might have a look in the YouTube studio once it's, you know, at another time, just see if there's anything we could do. I mean, you could probably um, download the video and then edit it and then re-upload it. No, but... I'd rather not if I can. Yeah, it'd be a bit of a faff. I actually Tinmuth. reduced speed enough as well for Tinmuth. Well, we still got like 3,000 gallons of water. Yep. Turns out, once we worked out how to use the injectors, it's not an issue. Yeah. She is a funny old engine to, to drive, isn't she? Yeah. I think it's more well, that used to Caledonia Works and Bossman Games, which have got a very similar key binds and methods of operation. Yeah. It's a real shame that just trains don't do steam anymore. Yeah.
Yeah, it'd be interesting to see something from Just Train, see what they can do in the modern day and age. Well, to be honest, I think it was Boss Man Games. I don't know. I thought he used to work for DTG. I didn't know it was Just Trains. I'm pretty I sure. I'm pretty sure he worked for Just Trains for a little while, but I'm not 100. percent Well, Ben, if you're watching, please let us know your entire work history. We'd be delighted to hear it. I'll have a CV on my desk in the morning. <laughs> No, I'm still completely jealous of uh, Ben at Boss Man Games because he bought a, a five-inch gauge king, Ooh. which is absolutely stunning. It is one of the most beautiful engines I've ever seen in five-inch gauge. getting on. Three miles to Newton Abbott, so we'll have to think about slowing down real soon. I think it's only a short, we'll only have a short stop at Newton Abbott because then it's on to Payton. Yeah. And then once we're at Payton, we're pretty much preserved railway in it all the way up to Kingsway then. Two point two. Like you ever think about slowing down? Yeah, apparently we blew the middle cylinder at Taunton. Yeah, I thought it was. Did you check? Um, did you check back? I've not, but. Um, Callum, yeah. Productions has put it in chat. I had I this gut Tom feeling there were a lot of um, there were I, a lot of steam when we were coming into Taunton. But that was because I was messing around with the cylinder cart. But may, maybe that's what did it, you know? Could be because I opened that at speed, but it shouldn't have. Right, Stuart Abbott, one mile to go. So I will have to start driving now. <laughs> yep. Whereas I can stop firing now. Yeah, you can take it easy for a couple of minutes. Callum says it was while we were departing Taunton. Fifteen miles to Kingswear. Hmm. It's unusual that we would have um, blown the cylinder while we were leaving Taunton, though. I'm assuming it was because I didn't leave the cylinder cock open long enough. Could be. That's the only thing I can think of.
And we're stopped. Ah. Oh, he's a happy guy, isn't he? <laughs> Reese, that's you. I know. <laughs> Very handsome devil. <laughs> It would be nice. I might try and change the uh, characters at some point. Maybe put the Caledonia Works ones in. I reckon we could do it. Let's, um... Uh, da -da 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 -da. We have made it to Newton oh, no. Abbott. Are you still injecting? No, I've turned no. the injectors off. Go get some screenshots. Good thing I've got my PTS certificate because I'd have been run over by HST by now, I'm sure. <laughs> Not for much longer. No, they're. Uh, I think this is the last year of them, actually. Yeah. On those four car. Yeah, there is the four car sets that run from sort of like Cardiff down southwest somewhere. Yeah. They, they You'll be getting run over by plastic fins instead now. Oh, yeah. And you won't hear them coming either. Nope. But the bright side is when they run over you, because the plastic, it will do more damage to the train than it will to you. True. Like um, the Azuma and the HST like met in Leeds. Burp. And the HST got off with barely a scratch and the Azuma was quite badly injured. And also decided to jump off the tracks. I've only just noticed the red lining on all the black. Yep. That looks quite smart, actually. Standard LNER livery. Well, we still got 26 people watching, so uh, we are going to run all the way to the end. We're both feeling the fatigue a bit. Oh, man. Should we do this last <laughs> bit, Sam? We'll do it. Eight miles and then... Oh, we're, you know, we're not far off finishing, are we? 14 miles. We'll do it. We'll get to the end. So tired. <laughs> <laughs> Right, are we ready? We're ready, let's go. Okay. Besides which, we've got that like, entertaining hill to try and get round. True. Heavy Rescue 126 says, glad to see you're back. Thank you, sir. Glad to be back. Hopefully the next time we won't be quite so incompetent. <laughs> he says. Oh, good one. I don't think we definitely need to try and arrange this um, virtual footplate race at some point. That would be quite interesting. I think trying to do... Cause we know how much of a fuss it is trying to do it with just, like, two of us doing what we're doing now. But if we had two or three teams of people doing the same thing, I, I think that would be really interesting. Because in many ways it's a lot harder trying to work together than it is doing it yourself. Well, each time we do a stream of this, it takes a few minutes to start getting that hang of working with each other again. It's normally a good... You know, 20 minutes, half an hour to get properly in at rhythm again. Yeah. But I think, you know, Bossman Games low course, new advanced low course from uh, Chris, Caledonia Works, any at JT low course, I think it would be a really, really interesting race. I have yet to try the new scripting on a Caledonia Works loco, actually. 
I'm waiting till um, the, I'm gonna wait until the kings come out. That's what I want to try. Yeah, I've not had a chance to have a proper look into it myself yet. Um, but it is something I want to have a nose yet. I've got some reskins planned for the care class, but I need to make sure I can drive it first. <laughs> Right, speed limits now, it's all 40 and 45. Lovely jubbly. So we are now on the, the Torquay branch. Yeah, like virtual footplate race. Um, we need to find another person to join us for it, really. Yeah. We've, I think we've got five of us at the moment. We need another to take it up to six and then we can have three pairs. J-Law's, um, now the big four races are going to be done separately, so individual drivers. And the reason being, I just think, you know, four locos, if you add two people driving each loco, that would be eight people in the stream and it might just be a bit too many. Especially when you consider how much you've got to talk to the person you're driving with. Whoa, uh, fire mass, uh, fire mass. And that. Oh, God. We've killed the fire again, Sam. I'll be right. <laughs> oh, no. That'll last us to end at stream now. <laughs> I'll have to touch it again. <laughs> oh, this is, this is the fatigue. This is it. This is fatigue. This is what happens. We took yeah. our eye off the ball. Well, it's ten past eleven. I think your prediction of being about twenty past, or sorry, half past, is not far off. Yeah, I reckon so. What's the speed? Sixty. We're on the fast bit of the branch anyway. Let's just get that blower on and burn through some of that coal. Get some nice frame rates by you now. Is the injector failed again? Yep. Forty five, that's okay. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on that water east, but the injectors aren't working at the moment and I can't get the trimmers to work. 
Just let him cool down a minute. We still got water. We'll have to get the um, pressure back up again. What gradient we're on? One in ten. One in one hundred and ten. One in ten. That's not bad going. Rack and pinion style. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Yeah, didn't you get a little rack and pinion model? Yeah, it's just like a um, China scenic thing. Yeah. Oh. It's just for that speed limit. Yeah, it's really nice actually. It's just a little sort of Snowden Mountain Railway esque scene. Hmm. It's not bad actually. It was a woman from Minehead actually. Um, Hang on, the trimmer's, uh, which injector are you using? Yeah, I can hear it. Wrong one. I'll just knock it off until we get, um, get us pressure back up again. A heck of a gradient, but I think we're just cresting it. Down to 25. See, um, we're still down, we're still over a thousand pounds of fire mass. Yeah. So it's a, it's no. We've got to get rid of another hundred or so. It's no wonder that we're struggling at the start of the live stream because of that fire mass, isn't it? Yeah. If you if you put too much fire mass on, you just kill it. Yeah. Speed's going up nicely now. I'll ease back on the steam because we um, we need to inject. We're approaching Tora. Let water pressure climb up again. I've shut the reg completely now. We're just approaching Tora. Yeah, feel free to drive it how you want. We've got enough boiler pressure. We're sort of getting back to old safe margins now. Just approaching that 30 zone. And I'm locking up the wheels again. <laughs> Who needs round wheels when you can have square wheels? Yes, green arrow is now a pacer. Is this Torquay? Yeah, we're approaching Torquay. We're on the English Riviera. She doesn't sound very happy, does she? She does sound a bit clanky, doesn't she? <laughs> a bit clanky, a bit hissy. We should have taken her in BR livery and then it would be period accurate. Yeah. Just passing through Torquay station now. I think as boiler situations under control again. 
yeah, it seems to be okay now. Next stop is Painton. How far is Painton? Two miles. Eight miles to Kingsweir. Mm, I'm going to add mm, ten minutes onto his end time. Yeah. Is that water level going up so much? Oh, that's not good. What happened there? Then? Oh, it was gradient. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. That's a steep gradient, one in fifty seven. We'll have um a big gradient when we get to the other side as well. Up to Churston, yeah. Yeah, through Goodrington. We've tanked his boiler water level now, look. We're just cresting it now. Speed limit's 40. Mm. And we're just... We are, briefly, yeah. Uh, because we got to get the uh, Peyton and Dartmouth Steam Railway crew member on board. Because he'll be... Uh, <laughs> oh. That'll be good, won't it? Welcome oh. to our lurker. As you can see, it's in prime condition. We broke it on the way. But don't touch anything in case you break it again. The middle cylinder's hanging out. Um, it, it's got about an extra ton worth of coal on the file and it needs. Um... Although the coal does seem to be burning through now. Well, like I said, I don't think I'll need to put anything else on for the rest of the stream now. Probably not, no. We should be just approaching a 15 speed zone. And from 758 says Green Arrow's going to need a month in the workshop to repair the uh, cylinder now. <laughs> and the rest. Yeah. So we got a single yellow now because I think this is where we're going to join the preserved railway. I've got my own little story about Peyton Station, actually. Yeah, go on. The first rail tour I ever did was behind 6024 King Edward. And funnily enough, was this exact run from Bristol Temple Meads to Kingswear. Yeah, um, yeah. On the way back, because on the way down, um, my eyes were just 
absolutely burning because I was leaning out the carriage window and getting soot in my eyes. <laughs> and just on the left here, there is a pound shop just there somewhere, like a hardware store. And I bought a set of goggles, only for a quid. But I was able to actually window hang all the way back along the Dawlish Sea Wall then. Ooh, lovely. Behind King Edward. And i got to be honest, that was one of the highlights of my days, you know, with trains. But I don't think you could do that anymore. Not allowed to stick your head out anymore. No, it's banned. Because of that lad that lost his head, wasn't it? Ah, uh, well, there's been a few incidents, haven't there? Yeah. Just coming to a coast at the end. Funnily enough, where the ten coach uh, sign is. There we go. Quick for a lot. Yeah. Winder all the way forward. Boiler water's okay. Coal is okay. We are just joining the Pinkton and Dartmouth Steam Railway. That's what that platform is to the right, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's a shame because I could have added some 4200s in, but uh, didn't have time to set the scenario up properly. Hmm. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, we could have nicked it and used it to save us. Yeah, I know. The 4200 could have taken over the train from here. We could have uh, stuck Green Arrow straight into the railway workshops and nicked the 4200. So we're going to take Green Arrow off, we're going to put her in the workshop by here, and she's going to have a full overhaul before we continue on to Kingswear. <laughs> Probably should let everybody off first. Oh, that's it. I guess that's it. Sorted. It was only a well, quick stop anyway, because we're picking up the pilot and uh, the uh, the token for the preserved railway. I think there's only one thing to do now. Full rag. Full rag. Would help if I take the brakes off first. <laughs> we're not going to stop at Churston because uh, we're straight through all the way to Kingswear. Yep. Handbrake off. We've got the token for the preserved railway. Oh, she's not happy. I should get that. It's only 15 mile an hour here, isn't it? Yeah. And here we go on to preserved metals. We're about to pass Goodrington Sands. Apparently, there's an absolutely amazing water park here. Yeah, right. Yeah, on the left somewhere. Uh, it's been a while since I've been down this way. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I do have some fond memories of Lydon Manor. Oh, hello. Would that be a hill? There's a gradient there no one told me about. <laughs> Where did that come from? Come on, Green Arrow. Don't let us down on the last bit. The last linear engine that was here, Dominion of South Africa, I think it was. There's a famous video of her on YouTube where she stalled on um, one of the banks. And Union, she isn't it? Was it Union? Which one? Union of South Africa, not Dominion. Oh, sorry, Dominion of... Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, my brain stopped working now. Right, let's wind her all the way forward. Come on. Come on, Green Arrow. You could do it. All the way, I full will forward. I'm bitterly disappointed if we don't make it because of this bank. <laughs> She's, she is lifting the speed slowly. The thing that worries me is that the cylinder cocks are closed and yet... Yeah. That's that middle cylinder blowing, that is. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we hadn't broke it before, we definitely have now. She's a wounded fox, she is. Oh, thanks, Cal. I'm saying, oh, by the way, there's a bank there. <laughs> Cheers. Some pilot he is. <laughs> You're one, one in 71. In Cheers, guys. Everyone in the chat now saying, oh, by the way, there's a bank by there. Not got any money in it, but it has it. No. Which is a pity, we could have used it to restore the engine. I know, all the money we've generated is just going to rebuild that cylinder we broke. Oh dear. I am going to have to go and do the obligational uh, Goodington Sands beach shot. shot. Beach shot. Yeah. Well, safety valves are lifting, I've done my job. It's all over to me now. I think Goodrington but Sands must be the one place on earth where like old pervy men with cameras are allowed on a public beach where there's like people in swimsuits and nobody sort of says anything because everyone's like, oh yeah, there's steam trains. Yeah. Anywhere else in the world, they'd be like, go away from me, pervert. But yep. the Goodrington Sands is like, oh, yeah, I'm here for the trains. Uh, yeah, trains. Uh, oh, yeah, that explains it. To be honest, knowing what the railway community is like, they'd probably be asking all people in swimsuits to get out of work because they're ruining the picture. Tom, uh, Dark DJ Production says, does the performance degrade with time? I don't know, but she certainly feels wounded, I have to say. Since we set off from Bristol, she does feel uh, not her happy self. I mean, she's basically missing a leg. Yeah. We're doing it. She does sound good, low chugging up here. Generic username. Very, uh, very uh, original username there. He says, how much do you reckon it would have cost to buy a ticket on this train? Well, I, I went on the Torbay Express back in 2008. 
and it was eighty pounds for the cheapest ticket. And that was back then, so it's probably a lot more now. It's probably at least double that, I imagine. Yeah, I'd say around about double. Look but, at this, Reese. We're injecting, we're gaining speed, we're gaining pressure. That's full forward as well with the reg wide. So I'm just going to notch it back a bit and see if that helps, but. No. I don't think it will because it is. Yeah, it's too much of a gradient, isn't it? Yeah. That's a lot of cant. Can you put all in bushes there? Generic user says £80. It was like a luxury excursion. Yeah, it was what we call a rail tour. So it's the Torbay Express. It's basically a steam locomotive and, you know, passenger train as a day out. Um, so obviously if you did it another way if you just did it as a train journey you would be on modern trains i'm not really sure i would call it luxury though <laughs> to be honest it i wouldn't call it luxury we it was just in a standard mark one being uh, pelted by bits of soot which i loved <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem isn't it <laughs> i was leaning out the window all the way back i got back to bristol i was absolutely frozen and my the top half of my body was black with all the soot and ash but I, I had a massive smile on my face just oh it was it was golden just hearing that king going at full speed as well just oh but you you can't do that anymore oh look yep. that that bridge would go go over yep and then I think Churston is just over there somewhere She's gaining now. I have notched back a little bit as well. Now she's losing it again. Well, I reckon my job's over now. Apart from injecting more water, I think you don't have to do any more firing, really. Because once we pass, I'll need to, um, put a bit more water in as well. Once we pass through, um, Ch yeah, Chirsten, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One in sixty gradient now. She's giving it everything she's got now. We're losing speed. Oh, come on, Green Arrow. Don't lose it on this last bit. This is literally the last hill up to Churston. It'll be Sod's Law, won't it? Imagine now, after three hours of live, three and a half hours of live streaming, that she gives up the ghost right at this point now. Come on, Green. I know you're tired. We're tired as well. And I gotta be up in about four and a half hours when my children get up. <laughs> Don't worry, Green Arrow. We'll give you a nice soothing salt bath when you get to the end. Yeah, Tom. Tom's still watching. I'm surprised you made it this far as well. I, uh, I honestly thought we'd have to abandon the, the the live stream after the horrible start we got. I'm not at all surprised. Oh, we need to slow down. Pretty sure it's 10 mile an hour here. She's locking up um, again. 
Um, we just got massive well, squares for wheels now. I was more thinking of like red signal we just went through, but we'll ignore that. Uh, no, we got we got the token for up to Sherston. Yeah, but it, it's fine. Why are we stopping? Because I uh, I I broke too much. No, granted, I think we should have stopped and got um, permission to pass that red signal, but um, technically we do have the token as far as Churston. It's like that classic meme. That won't stop me because I can't read. <laughs> if you don't look at the signal, you don't have to obey it. Oh, some geezer with his camera there. Oh, why are we being wrong-roaded? Boo! Silly train spotter. Funnily enough, I actually remember when when we came here with King Edward. I remember being uh, wrong roaded here. But I can't oh, remember well, why. It's accurate. It might be. Maybe it is accurate, but I don't know what the reason for it is. Either way, we're not supposed to be stopping. You can just hear that sort of pathetic rasping noise from the cylinders, can't you? She is not happy, is she? Squeak, squeak, squeak. We're almost there, guys. Only a couple mi more miles, and it's all downhill. Three and a half miles downhill, let's go. Hey, my fire mass is under um, ideal again now. Oh, that's good. It finally burned through all that coal. It only took, what, 45 minutes? <laughs> uh, it took us about half an hour, I reckon, to get through that. Tom saying my speed's high. Yeah, I just uh, went a little bit faster. We're tired and we want to go to bed. Yeah. Speed limits do not apply. Generic username saying, how are you speeding at 11 miles an hour? It's because the speed limit there was 10. Through the station, technically I should have waited until the last coach was clear of the section, but... Uh, getting past the point where my brain's working now. Yeah. See now it's a 25 mile an hour section. I can open her up. See, I'm really reluctant to open the reg too much because we're on a downhill gradient. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, we've got through a fair bit of curl, haven't oh, we? Oh, I. How much... I didn't check how much we started with. Neither did I. I'd have to look back at the stream again. Oh, why has he gone and done that? Callum has that? donated £2 and said, crash it. No. I have to now, he's paid. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, it's only LNER. It's only LNER. 
No, in all fairness, the virtual footplay live streams, I want to try and uh, keep it that we actually do it properly. He, yeah. said, he says as he's speeding. No, I agree with that. You know, when we do the races or just ever live streams is fine, but for the virtual foot plates, I like to actually try and do it properly. Obviously, like derailments and stuff do happen, it's, and just the way the game is. But for the most part, yeah. We don't deliberately cock it up. We at least we, we at least try to resemble some form of competence. Speeding again, whoops. We probably caused irreparable damage to the engine <laughs> by continuing to run it while it's got the middle cylinder broken. Whoops. Tom in the chat says we've got less far, let us finish with dignity. I think that went when we lost the middle cylinder. Yeah, the all sense of dignity is long gone. <laughs> I'd say it's like a um what do you call it? A hollow victory. The successful failure. We've made it, but it, it wasn't really about getting here, it was about not breaking the engine and we we failed on that. Yeah. Oliver, the great Western engine, has said that the game didn't act up. He said that. It's going to crash right at the end. We're going to get... Just as we enter Kingsweir platform, something bad has happened. <laughs> it'll, load, it'll be loading in last scene with Tile, won't it? And it'll just be a, out of memory. Seeing as that's the only error message Trenton is capable of displaying, regardless of what the problem actually is. You know, 20 mile an hour feels bloody slow when you're going downhill. Well, especially when we've been doing 70 plus. Yep. Uh, she's definitely got square wheels now. <laughs> A lovely spark she get as well with it. But yeah. So, we've screwed up the middle cylinder. We've given her incredible wheel flats. Oh, we've only totaled a couple of bits on it then. See, now I'm so sleep deprived right now that. Uh... 
I'm not paying attention to the speed. We just dropped to like 12 miles an hour. Yep. What a lovely shot from the uh, ferry. Nursing our broken V2 to the station. I'm half expecting when we stop that the whole engine's just gonna sort of sag <gasps> a bit. Oh, excuse me. So if anyone's wondering what condition die is going to be in in over the hills, this is it. Broken. <laughs> Broken, but being used regardless. What's the speed limit? 10. Speed limits, whatever you want, as long as you don't go through the buffers. Oh, lovely Dartmouth. Ten miles an hour speed here. No new subscribers during this live stream. No. That that without that uh, third cylinder, she just sounds so sad. It doesn't it just. She just sounds like she's really sad. And you've got that three cylinder beat still, but it just sounds like really scrapey. Apparently all the fans left when I left. <laughs> I, can't, I, don't, I don't know whether he... Oh, this is good. Uh, we've just uh, gone through a level crossing and cars are teleporting <laughs> through our train. I hate it when that happens. I know. It's just so. It just feels so cheap. When everything else looks really good, that just feels cheap to me. Yeah. Ten mile an hour, Reese. Yeah. We've made it, Sam. Not yet, we've not. We've not stopped. Yeah, we're going in the shed. I gotta get this right now. <laughs> That'll do. Pretty, oh. pretty spot on, Larry. Oh, not far off, was it? 
Well, we made it at least. Bristol Temple Meads to Kingswear. Only took three hours, 40 minutes. Oh, you know what? We've got to get a, um, we've got to capture like, well done for prosperity. Yeah. I can't seem to get rid of the F5 HUD there. That's annoying. Oh, uh, it shouldn't appear on the screenshots anywhere. Oh, won't it? No, it's, um, if you use control on S, it takes it without the, um, without the HUD. Oh, does it? Yeah. It's not working. Whereas if you use F12, F12 captures the hub. Control S doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Oh. Is it frozen? Yeah. <laughs> Is this it? Is this how it ends? I think Train Simulator has died. Oh no, the scenario yeah. ended. Yeah, there we are. We made it. What I prefer doing is like at the very end, rather than setting the last station as the um, the end of the scenario, to so make it that you gotta like back up and run up to a siding or something. So yeah. that when you reach the last station, it doesn't just end the scenario like that did. <laughs> yep. Anywho, I think that is it for this evening. It is uh, what time is it? Almost midnight in the UK. We've been running for three hours, 45 minutes. Uh, most... That was a lot longer than expected. <laughs> it was. It would have been a three-hour run, but, yeah, we were messing around for 40 minutes at the start, weren't we? Yeah. And that was that was my fault, you know, trying to get that headboard sorted. But there we go. Anyway, guys, I do apologise for the lack of energy. It's been... Quite a long live stream. No return trip. No, we're not doing a return trip tonight. <laughs> that is planned for another later live stream, actually. But that will be done. Ah, Burks, Hans, and Bristol to Penzance. That's uh, that's the name of the route. It's a really good route if you can go and download it. I hope you enjoyed this video. You've been joined tonight by me, the Angry Welshman, and Sam of Blast Bike Productions. So... I think we'll call it a night then. What do you think? Yep. I think we will. All right. Thanks, everybody. And we'll be back next time in however many months when we've next car free date. I'm going to make sure I set the scenario up and everything in advance rather than panicking trying to do it before we start. Yeah. There we go. Everybody, and uh, get headboards on as well. That's yeah. another biggie. Because I'm trying to do that today with the headboards. It was a right pain in the backside. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you again. Good night. Bye.